Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Okay. We exist. We live. My god. We're here. We're here to do some f well, okay, we're not actually doing art, but they're here to showcase the community. Hello, Coda. Hello. And hello, Dakabori. Wow, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Definitely didn't see you message before. <laughs> How's it going, you two? Balls. Yeah. And hello, Bridge. And hello, Jester. How are you guys doing? It's a wonderful Sunday. I am tired. <laughs> I am a, li a little bit on the tired side, uh, but how are you? Mm. Wait, did that not? Oh, hold on, hold on. God damn it! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. My ticket expired. Okay. There we go. We're back. We're back. All right. You're tired? Yeah, I know, right? Daylight savings is a bitch. Can I just say that? Uh, well, actually, I prefer this one compared to the other ones. Not gonna lie. Like, the other one where you spring forward, it just sucks. You know? But I also just stayed up way too late last night, you know? <laughs> uh, going on, alright, I finally got a test bar. Oh, Windows 11. Yeah? Are you liking Windows 11? I don't have it. Also, hello, Crystal. Welcome in. How are you doing? So, so sorry for starting late. Uh, I was ready a little while ago, but uh, unfortunately, Planet had an unexpected midterm. And so he's currently doing that right now. And I was, I was giving him some time, but I realized uh, I didn't want to rush him. So he'll probably join in a little while. We'll try not to go through it too fast. For them to... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's why I didn't switch Coda. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, thank you for free to be crystal. I appreciate it. I hope uh, you guys also eat. Remember to eat too. Like, don't just don't just make me eat. And hello, Lily. Welcome in. Well, you guys there. All right. But yeah. We got our our second monthly showcase. Nice balls, Lily. Nice balls. Now, so we have I mean, I guess we have that, but but what we want is fucking Uh, yeah. Am I just... Ooh. I'm gonna actually switch this. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so... The egg. Listen, I'm glad you... I'm glad you ate two, Turnip. And hello, Turnip. Um... So. So. Here's what I want you guys to know. One, this is the second monthly art show. Why 
Ew. It's a motherfucking Ed, slow jam. Ed, we're gonna put that on. Ed, 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 <laughs> I I was captivated by the eggs. I'll be honest. Ed, uh, <laughs> Ed, Ed, <laughs> it's a lot of fucking eggs. Oh and Ed, no oh, well you know what draws your average. Congratulations. Ed, How's it going? Uh, so this is our second monthly Ed, art showcase. Ed, this Ed, is the second one we've done. And this one, we have a few more entries. And I want you guys to know, I am so excited to see with the coming months. I was excited. Uh, so, Pancakes, hello Onyx. I, don't worry about it, Crystal. Um... I am excited to see what you guys can come up with with the few next few months. Uh, I think you guys have some awesome creativity and I really want to be able to showcase it more. Oh. <laughs> oh, next, no. <laughs> Little deserved, but no. Four away. Four away. Wait, what? Four, wait, what? What's the funny number? What? What's the funny number? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, but yes. So this month, we got some spooky. By this month, I meant October, of course. As it is already the 5th of November, which is crazy to me. How the fuck is it November and how is it already a weekend? My god. But, but, I want you guys to know I'm very proud of what you guys have come up with. It's, it's very, very cool. So we'll, we'll get it started right from the get go. Uh, hello Gunther, welcome in. We're just starting. We, we got the first entry here from Arcadia. I don't know if Arcadia is here today, but this this is some of their spooky artwork that they submitted quite early on. Now, mind you, I did I did accept submissions that weren't drawn during the month, but have been drawn previously and then either updated or finished during the month. Uh you have emotes now. Oh wait, you fuck you do. Oh my god. Of course you <laughs> Right, 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 right. But yeah, so the first one is from Arcadia, who uh, created their own OC mimicking Mimikyu, Casper. Uh, now, I don't know if Arcadia is here. It'd be cool to have everyone be able to explain their or our work, but if they show up later, we can have them show it. But, as you can see, it's quite... I, I like it. I like it. It's got a nice, it's very nice style to it. It's very clean. Yeah, I should have. Oh. So, speaking of art, as a distraction from you guys, because I don't know when Planet's coming in. Uh, so, we didn't hit 666 followers, right? In fact, we were still 20 away. Ironically, we haven't gotten any closer. We've gained followers and then we've lost them. Uh, but I think once we do hit 66 six followers, 666, six, six, I will do another art stream and draw some of the people who did submit their own art on Twitter. And or just do it beforehand. We'll see, we'll see. Because I do feel bad that we weren't able to make it. And uh, people submitted their art for effectively nothing. But at least I got to appreciate their art. And I do, I do want to do something with it. So we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, let's continue to the art showcase. Give a round of applause for Arcadia. They're 
adorable uh, spooky butt. Little Mimikyu. Fucking adorable. I, you know what I actually, now that I think about it, what I really like is the, the, uh, fuck, wait, wait, what would you, <laughs> what do you call the, the, can it's not a candy bag, it's a candy basket. What do you call those? Fuck, I don't <laughs> I don't know, but I really, I really like that they uh, added Mimikyu's face onto it. Like, it, it looks like a kitten. Really, really. <laughs> uh, but it, it adds a little. A little nice characterization, so if people didn't know beforehand, they can confirm right here that this is Mimikyu. And it also looks like they are about to murder you. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever went trick or, or if you were at the door, and uh, someone came out the door and was dressed like this, I feel like they would murder you. Also, it looks like plan is done. Hello. 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 <laughs> How is the rest of the test? Uh, finished up the essay. I think I messed up on one of the short answer questions. I don't know if I don't think I did super well on the multiple choice. Ah, uh, is really. Yeah, it's. I was just commenting that I really like how um, it has the Mimikyu face on. Okay, tangent. What do you call these? Because I was just thinking candy baskets, but that's. It's a it's a basket or a bucket. I guess, yeah. Oh, the container for the candy. The yeah. Receptacle. Yeah. I'm just coming down. Like I really technically want to be. Oh yeah. I mean, we're not that technical. I think candy bucket. Candy well, bucket. Yeah. Regardless of the name, I like that they added the Mimikyu face onto it, so it like. Mm -hmm. It has the extra characterization, just in case the rest of the design also, didn't sell it. Also, if I've been a little, if I'm a little distracted to stream, don't worry about it. I've spent a good amount of time absolutely salivating over about like five thousand dollars worth of audio equipment that I want now. Oh. <laughs> oh. If you want, we'll talk about it later. But for right now, the art. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Lily said to the wrong one. So. Bearing in mind, I have the uh, stream itself muted, so any alerts that yeah. come through or any music that you're playing, I'm not going to be able to hear because if I listen to the stream, I'm going to not only be hearing you twice, but I'm going to yes. hear myself after I hear myself. She's not something we want. I don't want to have to deal with that today. Yeah. I don't think Arcadia is here, so we'll uh, we'll move on to the next one. Who is by Aro Nekamori? So there's two pieces oh, here. Oh yes, I saw these. Yeah, yeah. So funny enough, the one on the left was well, actually, I don't know if you're still here, Nekamori. If you want to explain what's going on, but uh, both of these were actually earlier and were modified by Nekamori during the spooky month as you know part of the showcase and yeah i think i saw these and i really this i don't know if i'm just simple but i really like these simple styles like nekomori return three uh tone styles ne nekomori i've got a praise you here because the line work and the way that the kind of pixels came together on the one on the right there reminds me so much of an earlier era of the internet and of flash animation and of how all that thing looks that i am so nostalgic Ooh. for yeah exactly i ask you for art at some point in the future Neko, just because i really really fucking like the way you did the thing on the right there okay yeah so you did the ah uh, yeah i gotta say i i'm totally with you planet there is a nostalgia factor with the stick figure it's it's just it, the like the aliasing 
I think, is is part of like the way that it just kind of looks, as well as this kind of pure I wanna say like two thousand eight to two thousand twelve flavor of edge that's going on here that I am that that I don't see enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it went out of taste. I I don't I wouldn't even say due to overexposure, but just people I'm not gonna say taste, I'm gonna say out of fashion. Out of fashion, yeah. And obviously, you know, it, I think it became associated at a certain point with like deviant art artists, yeah, which got their own reputation at a certain point. And I also think that uh, some of that might have come across as like a, as a technical limitation. I think at, least, at the very least, when it came to the kind of pixel by pixel look, the aliasing was something that people wanted to avoid uh, for the purposes of having more quote unquote professional looking art. Yeah, I think... Or at least the people who are going to art school were told not to do that. Yeah, I think um, that that taste of almost... Not not uh, sketchiness, but the extra bis bit of rough and ready, I think, is missing. It looks unprofessional in a way that I like. Yes, yeah. It looks tastefully done. In that way yeah so high praise nakamori and then uh yeah. for the art on the left there just the kind of the simple lines the forms no shading <clears throat> also very that that's that doesn't call to to deviant Hello, or banana. it reminds me of as early new grounds yeah actually you know yeah that totally makes me think of a an icon for a game almost You'd see it's like a Castle in... Crashers character or something that you'd see in like an animation. Yeah, yeah. It's got a beautiful sense of, um, not would it be early 2010s or like 2000s? I would say late 2010s or no, uh, yeah, early 2010s, late 2000s. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck. I can't nail it down to a specific year because, but it's, it's nostalgic, both of them, it's honestly. Very nostalgic. It's very clean. I, I like it a lot. I also very much like uh, the way that Neko has implemented their uh, their signature in the bottom left there. Uh, <laughs> which also very much reminds me of that entire kind of era of things. It's just, it's the sort of thing which would be like if that was like a flash animation with whatever music is going on or whatever you'd, you'd be able to click it, you'd be able to mouse uh, over the icon and it would like go from like from like 25 percent opacity or whatever to being like 70 percent opacity and you click on it and send you to a completely different website <laughs> oh my god yeah you know? yeah like like that kind of thing or there or there'd be like a little button somewhere in the animation that would make something pop up very home star runnery <laughs> and you could tell exactly what it was because it just stuck out yeah 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 or at the very least you'd hit tab until there was a square over it <laughs> you do immediately uh, uh, well, Nakamura, do you have any other points to add? Do you have any spicy stories to tell about the creation of these? Because I think they're they're very clean. I like them. They're they're a good example of simple but well executed. Nekomori, if I was making a fucking fighting game and I wanted like a large, larger scale version of my character to show up as like part of a super flash or something, I would want the art style that you're going for on the right there with that with the stick figure. I fucking love it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, I think be hmm. in part because of that Nekomori, I've kind of decided to accept older submissions. Like if you hadn't drawn all of it during the month, the artists. Yeah, this yeah. is this is not this is not a heavy rule enforcement kind of showcase. But I do think that if you're going to be submitting things from a while ago, you should at least let us know as to like that because we also want to give a bit of special praise to the people who actually make stuff during the month. Yeah, yeah, and I think touching it up, modernizing it like you did, I think is also a good example. Mm. Digital art is all pixel art. It, it, I mean, it's what it's exactly what Nakamura is talking about. Like the technical limitation brings about very specific, yes, uh, traits or artifacts or you know what I mean. 
Exactly. Yeah. Which I'm this more nostalgic for in themselves. I mean, you see my fucking thing that I've drawn here in MS Paint, you can see all the pixels. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, I mean, I still have the art that was done for me between you and Michaela. And this one, of course, but this was a commission. Um, yeah, so Planet did this too. And. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, and Michaela did this. Um, so a nice little modification to what I already had. And it was. I really appreciate it. I guess they aren't. I mean. Yeah, I mean, do you want to count as a, your own submission, Planet? <laughs> Am I my own submission? Oh, do you? Yeah, I did this. The, yeah. fucking, the, the costume that I made for you? Yeah, for yeah. Because so cause honestly, this was just very spur of the moment, as I do for pretty much everything that I send people at MS Paint, uh, which includes now a uh, a custom new roof that I sent to Mukia uh, at oh, some point. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you showing me that. Which, which was a, a, a teacup that's also an Erlenmeyer flask, which I drew in MS Paint and has just as many crochet pixels as anything else. <laughs> Very crunchy. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. But yeah, like, yeah. I also... I, yeah, I don't know. I just really like the way okay. that, like, digital art artifacts look in when it comes to certain things, because you can... Sure. You can play with it in a way and that... hello, Celestial. Welcome in. How's it going? Is it just being like a side effect or an artifact of something going wrong? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you can work around that to, you know, amplify the, the style of it. The vibe. The vibe. Exactly. And if I remember correctly, well, the next one has a pretty different style. Very... More nuanced, I'd say. The next one is from Magic, or Phoenix on Discord. Ooh, spooky. This one... I mean, I get this I, in theme, but I like it. Yeah, yeah. I really like this one with the colors, I think. I They're actually just... like... I, 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 I don't want to decide between them. I like them both, actually. Yeah. Because, um... There's been this bit with uh, at least having kind of spookier character design recently, where you have the kind of implementation of the full oh, animal, some red celestial, but then some level of skeleton, but then also the glowing eyes, right? So yeah. it's either like the skull face on a cat or on a like on a dog or something. It's usually cats, just because cats are liquid and can be weird and spooky. Yeah. <laughs> but it's... this is really nice because I like how indefinite the like silhouette is here it, it doesn't look like it's just a, a shadow of a cat it very much looks like it's not well captured by light like it's it's almost obscure in its uh silhouette it's a it's a soft fuzzy cat and we mean that yeah. in like a like a camera focus kind of way not necessarily fur <laughs> yeah i I I adore this aesthetic, Magic Cat. And, yeah, I don't know. The effects that you've got going here. I don't know if Magic is here. Um, Ma Magic, if you ever get around to seeing or hearing this, um, let me know when you when you have that same kind of interesting kind of smoke trail effect or like almost kind of tendrily type of thing going on, and you also know how to put a fucking like audio cable at the end of each of them. And oh, talk mm. forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think it, it, it pulls off a really good effect for me, especially with Spooky Month, because it does give this soft outline to the cat, but it's not totally soft. It's It's got an almost uh, malicious, or not quite malicious, but no, uh... it's, you can tell it, it's not necessarily good. I'd say. Yeah. But, like, I, I also don't feel like... It's hard for me to ascribe evil to an animal, obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's... There's been a lot of these sorts of things where it's just, it's a ghost that's around. Because 
you know, animals live, they die, and then they have afterlives just like everything else in a yeah. zoom setting or world. So it's just the idea of it being there and lingering it has some kind of story to itself. Yeah, it's maybe not quite in the afterlife, but it's, you know, not paranormal, but definitely, uh, Unreal. yeah, yeah. And with a skull mask. And I think what's interesting to me is that the, the eyes aren't, aren't just, you know, pricks of light to like show definite eyes, but they're like glowing into the dark. They go off the face. They yeah, they, 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 they like emit, they, it's, it's almost like the light is reflecting off of the mist given off by the cat itself. Like it's, it's particulate. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's like how, um, like if you have like a dusty room and you shine a flashlight into it and you see all the god rays coming off of that. Exactly. The light is coming from the inside of the cloud. If you hold the cat like a gun, does that ass act like a flashlight? I don't think it would be a great flashlight. I don't think it would give you much, but... Of the, one, <laughs> of the video edit of, like, the cat making, like, the clicking noise. Um, but it, but they replaced all of the audio of instead of it making, like, the like, the, with the mouth moving up, it was just the sound of a machine gun firing. God, <laughs> yeah. It yeah, does I give haunting really, vibes, yeah. I really like this. It's... I think this is one of my... Very, I like this entry a lot. No, no. It, it, it. Hello, Brantler. Thank you for the twenty biddies. <laughs> <laughs> it also just feels like the sort of thing that might decide how solid it is, which I also enjoy the idea of. How much does it look like a cat versus just like a a shadow? The balls harden. Yeah. A cloud of darkness floating around. I, I really want to. Cats are already shapeshifters. I really want to see what else magic has done, and yeah, see if really... this is a style that they just adopted for the spooky, or if this is something they continue on throughout their work. Because I think they've posted once or twice. Didn't magic make that thing art. for me last time around? That also had the kind of ghosty, smoky elements, or was that somebody else? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm looking so through. It may not be the best. It's okay. I've been through about five exams in between here and there. <laughs> whatever, um, whatever it is it from my classes has been kicked out of the side of my head for emergency storage purposes. Emergency storage, of course, of course. I'm trying to. I know magic is posted before, but I'm I'm not saying it. Probably oh, ways wow. back, but we'll find it later. Yeah, and if magic shows up, we can ask them. Cause uh, I think this is really cool art style. Mm -hmm. So the next one is quite a bit less defined, almost. This one is by oh. Jeff. This one, the previous ones were kind of like classic Halloween. Spooky, but not unnerving. Almost. This, this one like a, gives me that feel. <laughs> it's yeah. This is like a like a Junji Ito manga panel. Like somebody put like a speech bubble over this for like a sound effect, or draw yeah. some like kanji in here for a spooky sound effect. Exactly. It's something the character would see as as a reveal. Like. It, it would be a normal day, and then this gets revealed to them, and then it turns to shit immediately. Yeah. That's this is the turning point, I think. It starts to look back it's, exactly. So it's the quote unquote monster reveal. You don't see all of it, but it, you see what the character sees, and it's just things are fucked already. The ball's hardened. And it's either the end of the story or like it's the, the thing where it's like, oh well, the character's immediately running away, and I can't blame them anymore. <laughs> well, shit, yeah, I mean, if I saw this in my bathroom, I would leave the house. Yeah, exactly, Nekomori. <laughs> you are likely to be eaten by a grill. 
type of yeah. picture here. It's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Jax. Well, you'd have a left yeah. eye. True. I don't know if I want to lose any of that, though. Yeah. Speaking of eyes, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I think... This... This art, I think, is probably the... Spookiest of the ones we've gotten. It, it definitely has, like, this kind of strongest sense of foreboding that we've seen so far. Yeah. It, it feels like... There is something very wrong. Essentially, yeah. Um, Again, I don't know if Jeff is here. Doesn't seem like it. But hopefully, they can get here later in the stream. We can ask them about, you know, what inspired them. Because yeah. this is honestly, if there's any, if yeah. there's any of the artists who show up at some point in the stream and we see them in chat, then we might go back to to, to whatever yeah. piece that they made so we can talk about it with them. Speaking of, there is one here. Well, two actually. Since Nakamori and Jester both submitted stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't believe anyone else is here from the rest. Speaking of the rest. Jester. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. This is much more of a character design, it seemed like. Uh, Very much so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No worries, Jester. I wanted to throw it up because it's it's a very uh classic OC, I'd say. In a good way. I like this I like this character. I like how busy the design is, the stripes everywhere. You, you, yeah. I'm going to make a presumption on anatomy here and say you got that big ear there, but then you have like the what appears to be like the kind of cyber like glasses showing the actual eyes. And then the face paint with the star. Yeah. It's it's there's a lot of things going on here, and I yeah. I'm kind of a fan. Re oh, okay, so apparently Jeff previous one, Jeff mentioned it's actually an Amore reference. Uh I've not seen Amore, have you? I have not. So I right, we can't don't know more stuff, but cool. Good to know. Also, thank you for the stretching hydro antenna and hello booper. How's it going? Oh, shit, what's up? Oh, that's right. Uh, but yeah, no, Jester, I, I, I like this one. It, it's it's a good stylized, and I like the glasses. Because they're not... Usually when you have that kind of style of glasses, they're very much in the style of Gurren Logan with, like, sharp angles and just but no, it's, it's, pointed out. But these are, these are like specifically it. a visor. Yeah, a block, almost. I um I also oh, like Uber. that like whatever is going on underneath it, not glasses that he actualized. Oh, fair enough. Oh, oh shit! Robotic character. Okay. Actually, oh. Well, then the quote unquote port for the face underneath it also is uh, drawn like a black version of the Ultimate Warrior art, and I now demand oh. that version of your OC in those colors and or Surfer Sting. Okay. One is more palatable. That's actually good to know. Yeah, I just saw the thing on the neck, like you uh, mentioned. So then that would be like another similar joint on the knees there where the stripe is. It seems like it. And the fingers are very much uh, well, separated you... almost. Yeah, definitely. I can see. Just, okay, got okay. A good thing going here. I want to see what the character reference looks like for this. Yeah. I know, I know you said you rushed this, but if you do come back to this character, I'd love to see what it looks like when you don't rush it. It's like yeah, a full, wanna... you know, given time to fully max out what you want to draw. And I can absolutely see if I were to make this character in a fighting game, I would absolutely give them an ultimate warrior color palette. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to go. <laughs> You're going to feel the power of the warrior. <laughs> No, just no. because of the way that that like the 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 i'm not gonna say face paint because i know what the actual eyes are but you know how that like art there is with like the middle of the face and you have like the kind of like 
almost not teardrop face paint going down, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, uh, well, same fucking thing, Jester. Except, except it's yeah. a fucking mask. I have talked <laughs> to Michaela about it. We are working on things. Yeah, it. Sometimes you just have a character, and it just doesn't stop changing until you like. Oh, I've got like seven right of them. Yeah. Like speaking of the character I'm using, waffles. Uh, <laughs> I just knew I wanted like this this value, and I drew him, and then I was like, "Do I want that?" And I wasn't sure until uh, someone just like, okay, just sat me down and talked me through what I wanted, and even then, yeah. I feel like I could change some stuff, but. I I often have uh, long conversations with people about character designs and what characters are able to do. And my Bye. key Bye. trick for getting for yard is 90% of the time just saying something cool enough that an artist goes, Oh, I gotta draw that now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which yeah. is always an honor. Welcome in, I, Yeah. Usually, I the way I work with artists is usually I give them a a pretty uh, general description of what I want like plus a reference and then I say but if you have any ideas or anything add those on and you can do what feels good to you as long as you follow it mostly <laughs> because generally if they come up with something it's gonna be a good idea generally I, not I always but... artists conventionally have good ideas but uh, and so I very much follow the same thing where like if I am to get more PNGs or like a model or something I'm gonna want just all kinds of different styles I'm I might want like an oil painting PNG right right uh but and so to that same extent like I want to have all the same kind of trademark things which are basically the the signature of whatever artists I'm working with or talking to hello awesomer welcome in it's very, it's very much a I want you to make this your own type of thing. So in so far as it's not fucked up and weird, right? Yeah. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> it is no longer Smoky Month, but we are doing the showcase, the, sh the showcase. Uh, since we still issue got the rest of the submissions in. Uh, although speaking of submissions getting in. Uh, next one oh, is man. that is the broadest and biggest segue I've ever heard for this. <laughs> well, now this one, this one is particular to that because this one. Oh, whoops! I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> I'm fed up with this world. Uh, this one is from Kai, and she did not actually finish it. Uh, Sick. but. I liked it enough that I had to add it because oh uh, yeah it it's, it's such a it's like one of those sick Castlevania design bone dragons that's fucking sweet yeah no I I, I love this design and I think oh, I might be asleep or well not here uh, so I don't think they can comment and say anything about it but just I know just the way that like the teeth are laid out so that it's it, and like the fact that fucking skull is melting into itself. It looks so many little bits. Yeah, I, I think what I really like about it is that it's kind of messy. Like the teeth are not fully oh. aligned. Hey, the 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 teeth are not fully aligned. There's like some skin stretched over the back of the jaw and like the, the spines on the back have this almost spider web film between them. And it feels oh, like it's been around for eons. And it is kind of, we're not really fully sure what it is. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, um, what's the fucking Monster Hunter monster that has like, not Radabon, but the dragon that has all of the other corpses on it. Oh, um, Valhazak is the. Yeah, 
doesn't have corpses, but it is like bone lich like. Yeah, regardless, those kinds of vibes where it's just kind of like melty and old yeah. and evil. Oh, hello, Sim. Yeah, Valhazak. This. Can't wait to see what this looks like when it's done. I, I, I'm very excited. I, I hope Kai does send it to me when it's done. Um, I also hope Kai finishes it and isn't just embarrassed that we showed it on the stream. I know. I, I did. I did ask her, and okay, I good. asked if she wanted to show the more colored one, but she preferred I go with this one. So I want to say she wants to finish it. Right. Um. Well, then, uh, good luck, Kai. It's already looking really cool. It it looks awesome, and appreciate you. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but. This is one of my favorite aesthetics, is the kind of this creature that's alive, but it's like half melting. And I think a perfect example of that, if any of you guys have seen Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind, it's the ancient creature that shows up right at the end. Well, I want you to know that that Poyo sound got through your microphone and I heard it. Oh, wait, really? Yep. Wow. Well, I guess my headphones are getting old. Um. But yeah, no. I, so that kind of aesthetic where uh, it's melting, and because it's melting, you can see the strips of bone showing through as the flesh, like, kind of slow, slows off. Sloughs off? Sloughs off. And you, you heard it here it. first. Really likes it. Well, uh, guys, Waffles really likes the aesthetic of that one guy who dies in the acid tank in fucking uh, Robocop. Exactly. <laughs> you should draw his. You should draw his dragon character dying to acid. I mean, if you do, I'm not saying. No, uh, but, <laughs> but. It's, it's kind of the kind of like ancient magic evil bit where it's the kind of incomplete mutation bit. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what gets me. It's like there's potential there, but it's not. It's like something's gone wrong. This used to be an animal type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I'm also a big fan of that, and I think yeah, it also better be described Wait. in like. Oh the, yeah. It, it, in very much the Dark Souls Bloodborne type of, like, this fucked up monster kind of way. It's, Cause, it's like, an cause aesthetic. When I think monster that it's, like, anatomically that's been fucked up, I'm thinking, like, Bloodstar Feast and, like, yes. Gaping Dragon. Yeah, just that really not quite experimental, or it's been experimented on style, but either between natural processes or something has gone wrong and this creature is now a like abomination of what it used to be just like the kind of like horns everywhere type thing or yeah. like you know yeah that uh, i think that's where the reason why i really like spooky month is just the aesthetic is just wow beautiful Gives that potential of uh, seeing what could have been. Okay, so then I think to a certain extent, Waffles is talking about not necessarily wanting to be a victim of severe radiation poisoning, but rather like maybe the great, maybe the grandchild, great grandchild of a victim of severe radiation poisoning. Mm -hmm. where, like yeah. it's got somewhere in the genetics, so things grew, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I'm the person who would throw people in just to see what they look like. Yeah. That, that's that microwave. Well, that's, yeah. the skull out. that's why people keep vats of acid. It's not to have like a really, really excruciating way of execution. It's just because it looks kind of cool. Yeah. Waffles, well, Waffles managed to get his skull out for Halloween just by sticking his head in the microwave and turning it on. It's well, yeah. the way to their corners. Just wanted to see what it felt like to be a bit warmer. And, uh, it melted out and you can't see anything anymore. It's, it's a bit hard to see. I'll be back soon, though. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I got an eye on my mask. No, no. Play it uh, telepathically. tells me what the art looks like. I'm a seeing eye face. Does this see? Actually, wait a minute. Couldn't you... 
wouldn't that be a possible technology of having like a mask that has cameras and then it can directly input that sense into someone's brain? Fun that you say that. There's actually a biomedical project that was that happened, I want to say, like maybe 10, 15 years ago, coming out of, uh, coming out of, I think, ASU, where they were working on having, um, sunglasses that had actual like camera inputs and stuff that would then uh attack uh that would then be able to do stuff like mess with uh certain like cerebral motor functions just and then also we and also there's been some progress done on like the kind of like artificial eyes bit but there's a really sad bit which is that one of the major like like uh mechanical eye artificial eye blindness uh, treatment companies has gone out of business and has stopped making replacement parts, which means that as those uh, as those biological eyes start to break down and people go blind again, not only do they have obsolete hardware in their heads that they can't replace or get out, uh, but they also can't fix it anymore either. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, Cyberpunk is, happened immediately the second anyone needed the mobility. Ooh. Welcome in, Raccoon. Hello, Rai. Welcome in. We, uh... So, this was actually the last entry. Uh, since... Since a few of these, we got two submissions from one person. Um... So we got... We got a few more submissions from last time. I think... <laughs> I really do like these... These art... These drawings, though, like all of them, I'm a big fan of our artists. Never are who's around here. Really fucking good, and I really like that none of them are the same. Oh yeah, actually, it, they're all unique. Diverse series of styles here. Yeah. Like we we have Dying Dragon, we have uh, original character, which just has its own style, and then we have Love just it, yeah, <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Yeah, Just yeah, unnerving. Yeah, Jeff going going full Junji Ito. Yeah. So apparently a Mori. I haven't I haven't played a Mori, so I cannot say. But I really like this one. Tavish, you can't threaten me with a knife. Look, I'm already I'm already dead. Yeah, I wonder if we could have used the guest star function on Twitch to make this stream count as one of my streams as well. I'm still not sure how the guest star works actually. Also, hello, Tavish. How's this going? Um... Raccoon, where's your nudie one? Uh, not on stream. <laughs> well, we actually haven't hit the loot goal yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, uh, another 23 subs, we're and um, we get loot art. Shockingly close. Speaking we're of which, very welcome close. to November, guys. Yeah, actually, this this theme for this month is uh, quite pertinent to that. Yeah. But if I it is... Right, the one that we were talking about was draw Waffles' lower half. <laughs> yes. What does the rest of Waffles look like? Because if you'll demonstrate well, for us, Waffles, you don't have yeah. the other half of your body. Here you go. <laughs> so Obviously, nothing NSFW will be showcased. And you, yeah. You, I think you're allowed to hint at it or be like somewhat suggestive with it, but like eh, nothing, nothing yeah. that's like full on explicit. I've seen so, painting streams on Twitch, but like we're not gonna go anywhere near that line. Yeah. So you can make that art. However, if you do, uh, DM it to me personally. And, it and will I, be shared I, with the rest of the mod team, and we will we'll all yeah. congratulate you. We'll appreciate it. Your work. But it won't be showcased. So if you want, you can. It just but won't show up on this stream. Yeah. So. And who knows? We might have, uh, with that loot art goal and the opening of the 18 plus channels, we might open up an NSFW uh, showcase channel. Yeah. And talk about that stuff. Maybe yeah, no. in a community call instead of on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a community call about going to 18 plus and opening up that yeah. collection. 
It depends on what the commission oh, yeah, costs Jester. and how much we get. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously the community is well, to say lewd would be eh, I would say it's an understatement, but it's uh, definitely accurate. Well, we got Lily as a mod. Yeah, yeah. We got Lily. Which, <laughs> We've got Nekabori. Which, which remind me what Lily was doing that one fucking Dark Souls stream that you were doing. Uh Hmm. Definitely. I think well, it was, wait, is it was it Dark Souls or Valheim? No, it was a Dark Souls stream. It was a Dark Souls solo stream. You weren't talking to anybody. And oh. if I recall correctly, you were going through the like fiery area. Uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lily got very <laughs> hot and ready. We'll say. Uh, yeah, and now that's the moderator. Congratulations. It's more guard. Yeah, so um, Lily. Lily was here earlier. I don't know if I've gone and done something, but by the way, when we say NSFW, we mean sexual. Gore, gore is okay. Yeah, gore is okay. Okay, because we live in the West. Yeah, yeah. We we see a lot of gore. I don't understand why, like, you're only allowed to see a person's insides if they're wounded. Uh. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, so... Apparently, the, the way that it works here in the West, which doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> well, you know. Just, we, we like to keep things, uh... Complicated. Where's Kai? So, Kai... <laughs> as far as I know, Kai's sleep schedule is all over the place so yesterday i As think she woke up at like or jerking it to cat boys or yeah probably doing something and or sleeping probably both probably sleep be both cat boys. also good night dust i don't know if i said that sleep well um but yeah so Within TOS, so Twitch, Twitch is mostly okay with violence. Not okay. Well, it's basically not okay with nudity and stuff like that. I think you can show it in limited amounts, but since we'll be showcasing it, probably not a good idea. I think it involves a certain sense of context, which doesn't matter anyways, because I think it's moderated by a bot. Oh, yeah, no, if it's a bot, then we'll, we'll just keep it Keep it to either safer work or within gore. I remember when the Tumblr nudity bot was banning pictures of sand dunes. Oh, right. Wait, why'd you picture... The, uh, <laughs> the, why? Because it's got the very smooth lines and the right pigmentation. Oh, my... God. Wait, I thought it was the, the nipples that got Tumblr. Uh, nipple, nipples are what's on the TOS. But the new the anti porn bot was specifically doing anything that was that looked kind of like a nude, so that ended up uh, with the entire wow. joke around bad fucking like moderating bots uh, being called send dudes. That was oh my god! I thought it was just people wanted to misspell. <laughs> no, uh, that's that's literally what it was. Was uh, like pictures wow. of sand dunes would get mistaken for being pictures of naked people. Just because it has wow. similar lines, similar shading. It's uh, also really funny because because all the porn porn blogs just replace just filtered all of their like gifts and stuff to be black and white and are still evading detection to this day. Uh lovely. Which by uh, the by, the other the, the other funny uh porn moderation uh censorship bit that I have for a bot that I know of was the one that th that Nintendo trained for the purposes of um uh, Miiverse. Oh. Which was yeah. that they trained it on a whole bunch of like real life pornography and pictures of genitals and all that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. realized they'd run into a certain technical issue where they maybe should have been training it on pictures, like like drawn pictures of yeah. and those sorts of things because Miiverse doesn't allow for you to post a photo. Oh. So they were 
they, they tried uh, it on like photo real pictures of all that stuff and it's not detecting like a doodle penis <laughs> it, that was a uh, funny that's story. that's pretty funny and it was, say, I, yeah, I like um, I like the ideas that have already been put forward I don't <laughs> the penguin feet penguin feet like I don't I don't have a tail it's just it's just feet right here <laughs> has only tails only I just have wait a minute like the sight <laughs> that sounds like a sight no <laughs> Wait, only uh, tails is like that for furries? I don't actually know if that's a real thing, but it sounds like it should be. Um, but then just the pants with waffle knee pads and pajama pants. I could totally wear pajama pants. Just should, should, somebody should just out. put like waffles in like a helmet and like knee and like knee and elbow pads and just like we have like skater waffles. <laughs> well, actually, did did you have the idea at some point that you want a fucking jet set radio outfit? Yes. 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 This, uh, yeah, the, the style I have on right now, um, was another one that I had envisioned, but it felt more appropriate for spooky. Halloween. Yeah. yeah. You should get a version of this that doesn't have the skull, so you could just have the cool jacket. Honestly, yeah. I might be able to do some trickery with that. Maybe. Talk to your artist about that. Yeah, just just replace the head, because I really do like this can outfit. I have my flashback. <laughs> can I get my skin back? Like I know I put my head in the microwave and all, and like dip it in acid, but what if it doesn't have legs and make it gore? Well, you know, <laughs> Jester, traumatize my boy for me. No, make me Darth Maul. Just cut my lower half off. Which is already you guys kind of already done. saw and heard what I was talking about during the fucking Archipelago script stream and what I think. Oh my Jeff god! Was, <laughs> there is a. Uh, I love hearing the concern in love, Zorane's voice. I love not only how concerned everybody else got, but like how weirdly uncomfortable it was and how they were worried about demonetization. When I'm just like literally, I, it's just Chow Karate, like. Really right. I'm playing Sonic Adventure 2. What do you guys think is happening? <laughs> yeah, I want to point out that during my Halloween stream, I actually killed zombie kids. Like, it wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't... You know, chow... I also chow killed zombie kids. Yeah, we, that was a... We did just kind of oh, murder... Got a shotgun blast to the face. That was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, that was a lot more violent than anything that happened yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the fact of them That's getting on my case for that was a little bit extra. I was a little worried <laughs> about what they were talking about, that I'm like, you guys are just fucking insensitive. Anyways. Yeah, I think I think it's how hard you commit to the bit. They're like, oh god, uh-oh. Oh, oh they, well, then they don't know me at all. Uh, I, Committing okay. to the bit is about the bit. Oh my god, just hearing on, on Halloween what I was talking about, you know no room in hell there there was multiple people in chat saying maybe you shouldn't call them kids zombies you shouldn't call them kids <laughs> and I was just like but they are I was murdering kids for the kids yeah I won't be disingenuous about that not about kid murder uh, anyway twitch please don't ban us <laughs> Uh, if this if this yeah man. no there's no like, way me talking the stuff i was talking about and then we immediately go to play doom 2016 yeah like <laughs> or killing floor anything or, like, like even norman hell isn't even super violent i would argue left for dead 2 is arguably more violence because you can I, like, dismember I, zombies i think people are more uncomfortable with the like audible description of a violent scene than they are of actual violent scenes. Visuals. Yeah. Like, also, like, yeah, you like, have to be truthful like, about that bridge. Fucking, if you see the scene in, like, uh, well, I, I was gonna say a specific scene in Watchmen, but if you watch the movie Watchmen and then you get uncomfortable with the way that oh. they describe people punching each other in the face, you are a hypocrite. 
Uh, there, Straight up. There is a discrepancy between having having you know something happen on screen where you can like distance yourself from it and then hearing it almost viscerally described i think there's that there is difference somehow well then okay well then we have this weird thing here where it's the kind of theater of the mind is more powerful than actual visual imagery the book is the, the book hits harder than the movie but that's kind of the opposite of what it should be. You should be more right? scared of seeing that shit than right? hearing about it. Yeah. Also, I do love that Draws said betrayal and then Tavish immediately oh. got timed out. Yeah. Like, fucking awesome. Tavish, you're not ugly as shit. Joe described you as cute and I take Joe's word. Tavish, I'm going to start calling you Lord British. And if you don't know who that is, then. Also, hello, Magic. Welcome in. Hey, it's me, Goku. True. Yeah, your imagination. I think that's what made Cosmic Horror really, really intriguing, is that there wasn't a description for it. It was, there's this unknowable hey, thing it's me, Goku. out there hey, it's me, Goku. that oh, cannot be Cosmic physically Horror. described. Have at it. Cosmic Horror is really, really hard to hit. Like, yeah. it's very hit or miss. Ed. Based on, depending on what side okay. of the line you land on for like I can't see the thing and it's scary versus yeah. I can't see the thing and they're hiding it from me. Yeah. It, 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 it there's a difference. Well it can make you scared of a thing you can't see. Tavish. We're doing good magic, by the way. We we got off on a tangent about, you know, violence and other kind of spooky themes. But I want to come back since you are the artist for this. Welcome man magic. Really good. It's really good. We both really oh, like this style. This kind of smoky, ethereal effect that you've used on things. It's really interesting. It, it gives us a wonderful ethereal effect. Yeah. And the way that you've also shown the light in the eyes, it kind of... I've said, I've said it before, but you weren't here for that. It looks kind of like the light's almost reflecting off the kind of particles in a very awesome way that I don't think people would think about. Yeah. Big fan. I was I was actually curious, Magic, because I don't know if you posted too much other artwork in the Discord, but is this a style you normally um, take when drawing, or is it something you decided to implement for Spooky Month? Since I think it fits really well for this. A lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Just the Trans King is building out an army of eggs. A full army. I mean, it's kind of... In kind of appropriate, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Also, Magic, I would love to see more of your artwork. And everyone else here. Um, wow. I know Nekamori posts more in the Discord, but... Uh, I know Kai and Arcadia, I think, well, Kai, I've shown off a couple of their artwork. Arcadia, I think this is the first one I've seen. I don't think you're here. But if they do get here, I want to see more of all of your artworks, basically. I still haven't seen, I still haven't seen a lot of art from Kai. Uh, which is a shame, because from yeah. the things I've seen from Kai, they're very talented. They're really fucking good, and they always downplay their their uh, talent. And it yeah. sucks. <laughs> I, I think, I think, honestly, no gesture. So phrasing, like Kai's skill in art, I think talent is an unfair word to use. The flexibility on display is really, really strong. Yeah. Like I, I've seen Kai do a couple of different styles and just kind of straight up nail it. Yeah, knock it out of the park. Seriously. We'll tell them that when they get in, but I don't know if they get in anytime soon. <laughs> oh, so you love skulls and drawing them in your own style, but you really am getting to drawing the extra lines. Oh. So this isn't... So this style you have right here, um, it... It's something you're getting into, but you're kind of adopting it for more just, just spooky month. 
Yeah, because I, I like that effect. It's got a really cool, um, not 3D effect, but it makes it both pop more and it makes you focus on it. It's, it's, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, Nekmore, you, you do actually post quite a bit. <laughs> and I like it. I like your style. It's very clean line work. Um, where did the eggs come from? I, you know, I thought I told you guys I found them. They don't want to know. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> it's fucking scary. Hmm. You guys don't want to know. Yeah, listen, I found them. Lan is just trying to make it sound worse than it is. You know? If, and you know it's me saying it. Hey, it's me, Goku! <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, but seriously, uh, everyone here who did submit. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I I can't wait to get more and more submissions because I just build this community more and more. Yeah, no, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, hello, sugar, welcome in. We we basically just finished the showcase. Hello, how's it going, sugar? Keep going back and forth between them just to you know, yeah. Show them and have chat still be able to see him for the people who get in late. Yeah. So we got this one by Arcadia. Yeah, so Arcadia adopted. I think Arcadia's. Uh, just woke up. Well, welcome into the showcase. <laughs> I think Arcadia is the one person who drew and showed off the reference. It wasn't an egg. The, the egg was not a reference. <laughs> uh. And I, I still really like this one just because it, it reminds me of, it makes me think this is a, a character in an anime or a cartoon that is either like the comedic, it, it, it goes to pass. It's either the comedic side character who likes to pretend they're scary, but they're, they're really not, or they're the one that like seems pretty harmless and then it turns out this wasn't an act this wasn't a costume at all i also think that the amount i also think that the amount of art that i've seen of, uh, of like characters dressed up as pokemon or like etc etc only goes to further prove my point pokemon company you want a pokemon monster for the game yes fucking oh my god please i mean yeah, they they don't they could really only really incorporate like maybe forty Pokemon at a time, but that leaves. Yeah. You know what? Slayer. They're doing the same thing for the hey, Midland, Midland Slayer games right now too. Hello. About forty Pokemon at a time. Oh uh, yeah. Mm, true. Uh. I. God, I I love Monster Hunter. I cannot wait for the next game. Give me fucking Sorry. Monster Hunter. No. Pokemon, Pokemon Monster Hunter would be really fucking. Good. GW Flip, I've been fucking stuck on this thought for years, and I, it's because the Pokemon game that I want is like Monster Hunter World. I want the endemic life. I want the wilderness. I want to look at things and understand where things are in their like environment. Yeah. I want there to be like a large fucking Pokemon walking, like fording a river, and for there to be like a bunch of smaller, like the bird Pokemon just resting on its back, the way yeah. that there are for, right? Like, give me Pokemon Wilderness, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Also, Jester, how many points do you have? You've redeemed Egg, like, probably at least 50 times. Oh my god. No, draws the other way around. I don't want a I don't want a Pokemon Monster Hunter game where it's Monster Hunter that plays like Pokemon. I want a Monster Hunter Pokemon game where it's a Pokemon game that plays like Monster Hunter. Yeah. Wait, player. Wait, you have Monster Hunter, but you've never played it. Ooh. Okay. So <laughs> I guess we're going a little bit of a tangent into Monster Hunter, but it is it's if fun. you. 
I if you have, like, I still have the tangent in the back of that fucking oh. audio equipment that I was obsessed with earlier. Today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is a really good game, a whole good series of games, and they've uh, occupied this niche that I don't think anyone else has been able to even get into. Because I want, it's I, I want Monster Hunter World too, just because like the. I see Fleur. Um, part of it's the graphical quality, obviously, but like the way that the world has so many fucking details in it when it comes to like fishing, it's... rare species, the fucking capture net, endemic life. Uh, yeah. When it comes to the way that there's like just like the way that everything's decorated in such a way where it feels natural and not like a series of arenas to chase monsters through. Yeah. It it very much feels like you are exploring a wilderness where there are monsters and not just this sandbox where you can go hunt down specific creatures. Like, it, if I wanted it a feels sandbox where you could hunt down lifelike. specific creatures, I could go spawn a fucking, like, Chest. NPC for Gary's mod somewhere and we could go fucking shoot at it for as much as we want to, which, by the way, still fun. Um, but... Yeah. Just, like... I don't know. I, just, I, Monster Hunter World did a lot of good things, and I feel like the follow-up Monster Hunter game kind of hey, it's me, Goku. Back a lot of. I think of Monster Hunter World feels. Yeah, I think Monster Hunter Rise because it's not a mainline game. They wanted to um. They wanted to go back to a lot of the stuff that Monster Hunter World didn't take from previous. Damn it. Um, but Rise seems to take on a lot of the more arcadey aspects that older Monster Hunter games had. Like, World was very much an immersive game. Like, you get into the, the landscape, how everything works, you track down monsters and everything. But older games, I mean, I haven't really played them, but I, ha I do know what they played like. And they were much we'll more... Throw fucking paintball at the thing, and so I can see where it pops up on the map whenever it flies away from us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um... there it is. Let's go to Area 17, <laughs> guys. It was a lot more gamey. Like, you could and see okay with... all the I'm okay game with games mechanics. being arcadey. But just the like on safari feeling yeah it it definitely feels more like uh it's not like you're hunting something and more like uh, i'm doing this to get materials with syrup with syrup no because you know i gotta grind for this and you know get get it's this like, value oh. for aesthetics or whatever with syrup dude monster Hunter world is fucking beautiful just it is part of it to walk around and look around it's such a beautiful game that's why i'm so excited for the next mainline game with syrup and, and like just you have your you have the wastes you have the coral uh you have the coral like the fucking highlands just all of these different environments with different creatures inspired off of like it's just so interesting the way that they're able to come up with new biomes and things and just like make the monsters fit in the world better by giving them an environment that reflects exactly how they grew up to be the way that they are exactly and they give them characteristics and tidbits to show that off with syrup like there's not a lot of games where there's wilderness that feels like wilderness yeah monster hunter world feels fucking wild I think one of I love that game so much. One of my favorite uh, things that, like, w w this channel on YouTube, it's your own. I don't remember what the name of it is, but it has gone into detail with over a dozen Monster Hunter monsters and their models, and it it shows these little aspects of the model that you almost definitely wouldn't notice in combat with Zero. Like, for example, um, uh, I think... I have a scar or something. 
well it's it's little movements actually so like um so i think with anginath with syrup i think you can see like when it's not in combat i, I think it's the anginath but there are little flaps along it that are like tiny and they're pretty hard to see when you're not moving and in combat they like flare up and when it gets enraged there's a little like bursts of fire out of it or something like that with syrup and it it's this insane attention to detail because you're not going to notice that while fighting it with syrup you're and, not and, and we're talking about attention to detail I, I don't want to drag us back to Pokemon, but like, imagine if we had a game where the Pokemon behavior matches the behavior described in the fucking Pokedex. Oh my god. It'd be yeah, so good yeah. with Syrup. Oh. It's, it's, it's almost a, painful. Like, oh, look, that's a thing! And you take a photo of it, and it's like you're literally in a zoo, watching yeah. things in an enclosure. Yeah, yeah, it... <laughs> They're they're there to be caught with syrup. They don't have a life yeah, outside of that. Not only, not only there to be caught, but also so nice balls, Jester. I wish, I wish Pokemon were more animal-like. Hmm. True. Yeah. I wonder. I mean, they are selling to younger audiences with syrup, but still. So is Monster Hunter. Hey, Arcadia. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in, Arcadia. Check out your art. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, we're doing the art showcase with Syrup. We're talking about Moss Hunter. Yeah. Because, we... <laughs> uh, because your drawing here inspired, uh, uh, reminded me of an idea that I want, which is that I want Pokemon Monster Hunter. I want a Monster Hunter game, that with, but with Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. And so we got to talking about how your um, character dressing up as a Pokemon had this style to it where uh, it <laughs> it reminded planet of uh, Monster Hunter armor I don't with syrup. Want, no, I'm not going to hunt and skin the Pikachu. Pikachus are too small. I just use a capture net. Yeah. <laughs> Be the bigger stuff with syrup. Like Charizard. But I will absolutely use a fucking great sword on a Waylord. <laughs> now, you'd have to bring swimming back for that. I wonder, well, if it's a Pokemon, I wonder what's here. Why would I use another Pokemon? I want to fight the Pokemon myself. Also, yeah, um, thank you for the submission, Arcadia. <laughs> Before I forget to say that, uh, I really like it. It's a, it's a very clean design, and I really love the little mask on the candy container basket <laughs> receptacle when i got when i got in could not decide whether what to call the candy bucket yeah but i i like that you added the face onto the the bucket it adds a nice connection to mimic you yeah uh do you have any comments you want to make about it like what what had you come up with this? Is uh, Mimikyu a Pokemon that you're a big fan of? Yes, sir, it's fine. You said it was rushed, and also, I think it looks great anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> It was just a spur of the moment. Oh, oh, you got a shiny Mimikyu. I think it turned out great. <laughs> There's also the fun alternative of having the poke, having like Pikachu's be like this sort of, um, you know, like the little frogs in World where when you hit them, they cause like an effect. Yeah. You know, like you have the stun one. You just accident like something accidentally clips a Pikachu and you just fucking like thunderbolts <laughs> right there, and then just leaves. They could do that with. I mean, they have the starters. They literally have that as an option. They have so many options for environments and for different, like, 
things that you could fight and that are on that scale that could be angry at you. I want to fucking get into a fight with a Charizard. I'm never going to be off of this idea. Until it I happens. I saw the realistic art. I also saw the realistic art for, for Pokemon from that one guy, and I'm like, oh, but it was Hunter. Brave Nature and loves to eat. Where's Dark Forest? Oh. oh, okay. To find exotic foods. Wait, so does Casper... Now, here's the important question. Is Casper a villain? Like, will they commit heinous acts or are they just you know pretty chill Blair imagine hunting a fucking onyx we could do this forever <laughs> fucking on has a lot of uh, a lot of really cool monsters that could be a lot of really cool really big monsters. monsters that would make for really cool monster hunter monsters a giant crouton crouton mm. How... Uh, I'd rather not. Hmm. If you had a really big crouton, I feel like it'd be really difficult to bite into. Oh, it could be. Tough enough. But what if, what if, you? See, I, hmm. I, the idea has sparked hmm. inspiration in Flair's mind. I want everybody yeah. to know this. Yeah. And croutons, I do like croutons. Big enough though. Do you have food? No. Then I have nothing to say to you. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay, so not not villain, but oh, dismissive attitude single almost. Minded. Okay, single minded, no. I have a very specific set of interests, if not interest. Food. Exportive very, brat. Uh, <laughs> very, very. Yeah, that that works. Very <laughs> that works. Of the character. Uh, uh, well, while you're here, Arcadia, uh, you go through the rest of the art so you can see. Damn it! Was this thing have to be a thousand two hundred dollars? So you can see uh, who else posted. So we got Nekamori, um do some of their classic clean lines. Very. Almost iconic of like late 2000s as Planet brought up. And I think it's just a very clean style. Very, very just simple and well executed. Yo. Hey, Sour. Hello. Earlier Welcome in. The Blood Crying Skull. It's. We were, we were commenting that this, this art would work fantastic as one of those stick figure drawings on like new grounds like this could Blair. be like an entrance Lighting a blast toys would be great yeah <laughs> yeah i don't i think nekamori might be gone by now but they um they brought up that this this one is actually uh, a bit older like two years old and they just kind of updated it for the modern spooky. Dude, Flair. Yeah. And so, yeah, just all different art styles, which I love. Okay, Monster Hunter World is the thing that I want. Yes. We'll probably go back to that I mean, several times. We've been over that a few times. Already, yeah. but Flair's just kind of like stuck in the thought about that. I'm like, yeah, that's where I've been for like the last seven years. Uh, oh, yeah, no worries, Nekamori. Uh, you're just mentioning that we uh, like your art. Yeah, uh, next we had Magic who popped in. I don't know if Magic's still here or not, but they mentioned this is actually an art style they're just getting into, and uh, with the 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 extra lines, the fuzzy extra lines around the silhouette. And I want to see more of their artwork in this style because I think it's, it's very, it's unique in that it since gives us the ethereal style and aesthetic. There's five things that make you gasp in this excitement. One of them has to be glowing eyes. 
I think what what planned I remarked about this one is that you don't actually see the eyes like you don't see where the glow is coming from but you see the reflect on was quite possibly the particles around the cat so it's like headlights but the the actual light is covered and it gives off this really cool effect i'll definitely do more well magic please do post them in discord because actually yeah arcadia too if you do any more artwork Please post in the Discord. I love seeing this stuff. And um, with each, you know, month with the art showcase, I just love seeing more. And uh, always, big. yeah. Jeff had the next one, and his Jeff's might. I think Jeff's is just the most unnerving. It is this abstract just horror compared to these the other more character defined art feels like apparently it was inspired by amori um we neither of us have played amori <laughs> unfortunately so it's, it's something we can't com necessarily comment on but yeah Time you dreamed of being watched. Weird things it, about Amore, yeah. which mostly amounts to various accusations of either the fan base or the game itself. I have no no idea what's actually in the game, but you it have was very Earthbound inspired, which is not something that I have a lot of interest for because I've played yep. a few things that are Earthbound inspired and I've come to understand a lot of them as being hey, quirky trademark. Hmm. I do not know. I do know that the Amore fan base is very. It's. I think it's a cult classic. I'd say. It seems like the it's fandom like is something. very, very dedicated to the game, which, at least to me, seems like th there's something in the game. Well, is it really good for something inspired by Amori. I I like it, and I didn't even know. Uh, it's really good. Well, you, you say that. Uh, reference. But when it comes to like there being a dedicated fan base, because there's something there. You could also say the same thing about the Rocky Horror Picture Show, or of the Room, hmm. or of Undertale. If we're talking levels of quality here, well, Undertale I mean, not cult classics necessarily oh. because they're good. Well, I'd say most people argue Undertale is quite good, even if there are problems to it. Although I, I saw this short video on Undertale. Was good, but <laughs> overrated. Uh, I think it, I think the fan base killed it. Um, yes. But I saw I saw a video on Undertale, and as it turns out, it is like a coding nightmare. <laughs> like oh yeah, no. I apparently there's just the like the dialogue checks when you go into rooms is just a literal like hundred lines of if statements, checking if the value is zero, setting it to zero, and then checking it again. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you gotta make sure. a whole list of that. Yeah, you gotta make sure. And, oh uh, god. Uh, when I, when I yeah. say I think Undertale was overrated, I'm talking about uh, in response to a fan base. Yes, no, okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, like, it's the bit where it's like, I it's heard not that, that good. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe it doesn't deserve that. <laughs> I think it, it captured I'm gonna say the Tumblr essence perfectly Tumblr essence <laughs> I, th I think it fits word. I think it fits perfectly with that makes sense why it took them so I don't I don't know if Toby Fox I don't know much about Toby Fox I don't know if they knew much about game design or, or coding uh I should say before they beforehand. worked on a couple of products before, but largely were not responsible nice. for the coding parts of it, if I remember right. I mean, um, if this which Undertale definitely seems like the sort of game where a passionate developer sat down for like four or five years and just cranked it out, yeah. And it seems like that way for Delta Run, too. 
working hard Still and for especially very long much time. cranking it out sort of thing but they're yeah. cranking it out for a long time with a series of chapters which is making me go oh no this is homestuck 2 <laughs> uh homestuck okay. if you're not up to date on funny salesperson character then how can you possibly interact with culture <laughs> I agree, Flair. I think the music sold a lot of the game, and Definitely. the characters, the dialogue, I think, was... I think at, at this point, it would probably be seen as extra quirky, but at the time, I think it, it wasn't so saturated. I think it was really good. I didn't think it was revolutionary. And that is the line that I draw that uh, upsets a lot of people. Hmm. Mm hmm. Make sense? No, I think I think that makes sense, yeah. Like, it's it's the, this is really good, don't give it more praise than it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, there's not a whole lot of games you can point towards that, because, you know, revolutionary is... Revolutionary. Yeah. Again, like, is it the? It, it, it's a. It's, it's a pretty damn good game, and it. You know, it did. It did the things that it. It did a good amount of the things that it tried to do. Is yeah, it good I, enough to give it to the Pope? <laughs> that is such a funny idea to me. That Undertale. Which, was, like, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying that as a specifically decrying Matt Pat for giving the game to the Pope. But if we're talking like overhyping a game to the point where someone can believe this that good, yeah, to give it to the fucking Pope. <laughs> it I is. I don't uh... think that Undertale should be the representation of all video games to the Vatican. That's just so funny to me. <laughs> it is incredibly well, funny. It's but, but popular. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Popular. Yeah. They, Not necessarily well executed. Popular. It absolutely developed a cult following behind it. Mm -hmm. Ender. Uh, make sure it doesn't have eyes. Um. Oh yeah, speaking of eyes, I I hope Jeff shows up because I wanna I wanna see. You. I know Nakamori mentioned that. Uh, this was inspired by Amori, but I want to hear it from Jeff and yeah. how we how we got this because good. I like oh, it. Actually, if I want to bring up the last thing that the last two things about Undertale that got me annoyed. One, I think it got a lot of praise for doing for doing. I, it got a lot of praise for being the first game to do a lot of things that other games have already done, which oh. is already annoying, right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I, bef like, we're talking, I want to say, like, eight months after it came out, I was kind of already starting to get a little tired of everybody and their mother talking about it. But I also happened to have a good friend of mine who had a little brother. Mm. And if there's anybody who could make you sick of a game, it is your buddy's annoying little brother. Cool. Are you talking about who I think you're talking class about? Megalovania. No, it's nobody uh, you know. Oh. Who will incessantly play Megalovania. We're talking like an 11 year old. Oh, Megalovania okay. over their iPhone that they are too young to actually uh, own responsibly. Hey, Skeevy, hello. Yeah, we're... We're not quite talking about economics, but... Megalovania. <laughs> Skeevy, we're not here to learn about economics. If you want to learn economics, go watch Spice and Wolf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're here to do an art showcase, which we have basically completed. So now we're talking about... Random bullshit. Random bullshit. We're talking about Monster Hunter. Now we're talking about Undertale. Uh, but we're going through each one slowly again. Speaking of, yeah. Jester. Uh, each one... I, I, I still love that each one is unique. It's like, yeah. none of them are close to the others, and uh, I love that. And, uh... I am tired of the entire Undertale OST. <laughs> uh... 
It's not even. It's not even yes, just draws. Megalovania that's worn out. Megalovania has worn out, especially. I'm tired of the whole OST. Hmm. I think there's still some good, some good vibes, and some of the uh, also became, uh, uh more exciting ones. OST for being a video game soundtrack became the soundtrack of every single YouTube video for the next two and a half years. True. It joined the ranks of Kevin McLeod for like an overplayed YouTube royalty free music. Yeah. It uh, definitely got a bit much. Yeah. So wait, draws. The music I, is good. I know you mentioned you play Monster Hunter stories. Have you played the, you played the mainline games, right? I don't think Draws has played the, the actual Monster Hunters, because I think Draws mm -hmm. mentioned that they only play stories. Because if you haven't played the... Only... <gasps> you haven't played the main lines. Well, well, well. Alright. Draws. Well, to be fair, Draws, mm. you're interested in playing any of the main lines. Yeah. Well, actually, you already played uh, God Hunter, so like, yeah. Let's yeah, did you? if you like God Hunter... Just say Monster Eater. Hunter. Yeah. Or God Eater. Yeah, wait. Yeah, God Eater. Whatever whatever that game is called. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, I just realized. Wait, the Jester's background? Is this like on a tarot card? Because it has a design in the back. It looks like a red moon. Like a crescent uh... moon. I think tarot cards would have a more clear marking as to like. It probably things. would. It is well, a cool backing though. Yeah, I do like the background. Yeah, Gunther, I wouldn't either. If draws draws, if you do want to play through the Monster Hunter games, I'm ready. Uh, it, oh, it might be a cape. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if Jester's still here, but... Uh, Anyways. Yeah. The last one we got, which, sadly unfinished, um, is by Kai, who's not here either. And... It's... It's... An undead drawing of me and fantastic. I was telling in chat earlier that this is one of my favorite aesthetics. Uh, just melty, the, the melty, like undead, but still has flesh. Yeah. Work in progress. Yes. Magical zombie. Yeah. Magical zombie, something I think, like ancient power that's been revived, but not properly. You know, there's a Beethoven quote, which is that no art is ever finished. Or, no, uh, what was it? No, 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 uh, no piece is ever finished and merely abandoned. And to his point, I think he should fuck off. I think sometimes things are done. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's actually not a good mindset because I've done that where I just keep going and adding little details. And that's not good. That that you're just adding stuff on that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. No. You can yeah, you can keep working on it, but that doesn't mean it's not done. I want to buy $6,000 worth of audio equipment right now. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I've just been going back and forth, and and every time I accidentally click on something, it brings me to the fucking page where I'm staring at this piece of equipment. I'm like, no, but I want uh, it, but I can't yeah. afford it. <laughs> so all I can do is uh, sit here and salivate. Exactly. Also, Dogu, hello, welcome in. Uh, so, Dogu, one, how are you doing? And two, stick around, because, uh, we're still doing the clip thing. We're we're gonna <laughs> we we got the top clip of the month, and you may or may not be 
the person who clipped it. Um, but for this theme, for this month, we're doing what does my lower half look like? It's going to reiterate this since a bunch of new people have come in. <laughs> so, the specifically... In SFW, anything we can shoot, art has to be something that we can show yeah. on stream without getting in trouble. Yeah. So, gore works. You can draw gore. That's fine. Uh, probably good not to completely overdo it. But stay away from sexual. Gore, make it sure that it's not the kind Dogu. of gore that like a gore porn artist draws. Yeah, Dogu. Like there's like yeah. the bit where you're drawing a foot, and then there's the bit where you're seeing a foot porn artist draw a foot. Okay, I hope none of that happens. But everybody recognizes what that line looks like. <laughs> oh god. Uh so. Um Yes, your clip, Dogu. We actually, so this clip wasn't just the top clip of October. It was the top clip of all time. This is the highest viewed clip on my channel, which is kind of surprising to me because the one of the other top clips this month was one I really liked, if only because I am a huge fan of cutoff stream, uh, screams. I'll see if I can oh. pull it off. Perfect. But this one, this one, I think the, the timing on it is also really good. Uh, but yeah, here, here it is. What did I do in biology class? I think That's I dissected cool. a frog. Victory. Oh my god. That's it. <laughs> it's, yeah, I think, I'm not sure <laughs> why it got viewed so many times, but mm -hmm. I think the timing of it between me saying, I think I dissected a frog and then immediately victory was something about I... it. I don't know. <laughs> I think there's probably better clips, if not more I, performance. I ones. think so. Let me let me go find the other clip this month that I think was not to say that was a bad clip, Dogu. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me let me play it again. Um, but this one, and, <laughs> the one I'm finding is what did I do in biology class? Is a I think I dice really good wait what did a frog victory oh my god what did i do in biology i'll, I'll let it play one more time i think i dissected a frog oh my god victory oh, oh glory you oh said hello oh my god yeah uh yeah, so, the amount of times you play this clip, uh, you might have to mark your stream as being pre-recorded. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be silly. But that was a different moment. You were clipping that. I don't know if that was the same moment or not. But thank you for clipping that. I I do like the clip. I'm just surprised that it was the most popular one. This. This is one of the ones that I found. No, Joe. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm ready. Oh, that's one of my clips. Yeah. But no, no, this is actually Gunther. Oh, wait, Gunther? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, right. So, this one. Yeah, Gunther. This is, this is the second highest viewed clip on the channel I, I it might not be second but it is in the top five i think which is surprising to me that we had two clips in the same month that uh were that highly viewed well, to be fair i don't think we've had nearly this much of an audience in the last time a while true so true the audience has grown quite a bit this one but this one is just a favorite of mine because watch 
No, Joe. I might die. I get to pretend no, that I was Joe. here for this. Hey. I might die. It's just Still the same place that the fucking uh, the fucking <laughs> hut on that is so good, Gunther. It. I think the funniest uh, thing is that uh, of, of these clips is that you're in the same place that you're at, but I'm layered above the layer where you have the clips. Yeah, yeah. So you you just get to show up as if you're part of the clip. Yeah, I, I get to look like I was there. And it's. <laughs> Don't you this, know I can travel through uh, that space? Yeah. I think part of the reason... I mean, I wonder... So... I'm wondering if one of the reasons... Uh... These clips are also really high view highly viewed is that... With Twitch stories, I've been trying to post with them. So I've been adding clips mm. here and there. And... I did have another clip that I added that did not get nearly the same views, but both of those, I think, were in Twitch stories. And I think that might have added to it. But I really like this clip. <laughs> this is... Definitely. This is, this is one of my no, favorites, Joe. I think. I'm gonna make mo I'm gonna make, make both of them in the shorts. I might die. If, uh, if no, we actually Joe. Have the uh, like clip compilation videos that you said that you've yeah, been making yeah. for the past several months now, which yeah. you haven't yet made, but you know you said that you would. Hey, I I have made a short and I'm working on it. And um, Dust was actually helping me out. Yeah. And said he was gonna help edit them. I don't. He did go to bed. I. I may have woken up again. Um, but I think I was letting him take his own pace. And I think he's been pretty busy. And fortunately, we have not had any clips fully edited. There has been one that we should be able to get out shortly. I just wanted to fix one thing about it. And unfortunately, it looks like I think he got busy again. Yeah, so it's been kind of a toss up but I want to say speaking of that uh, I do think I might thing is <laughs> I really really like streaming this is absolutely one of the best things I've done and I do think I want to take a bit of a break to kind of fall back and come up with some more ideas and do some stuff such as Best editing clips yeah and um also just kind of it's it's one thing to stream it's another thing to do social media stuff and i can say i like streaming social media not so much yeah which is unfortunate because they're pretty heavily intertwined. At least if you so want to. that meant, uh, get we are more hiring stuff. for the positions of various <laughs> managers and social media. No, no, wait, no. We're hiring if you are willing to volunteer. <laughs> we are hiring if you're willing to volunteer and won't intentionally fuck us up. Yeah. Because you better believe that once you start, we will probably never look at what you're doing. Please don't. Up and it's important. Yeah. But I agree, That's Dogu. Pierre... Already in, already in trouble. Oh. Yeah, I've I've been. I also think Twitter. Um, because Mukia, or Mumu, has been also mentioning stuff, and I think she's been having some of the problems I have with Twitter. It feels like Twitter is. Well, it's Twitter, but it also feels like it's definitely... You can feel a bit of the migration and just how it's dying. Yeah, I, you can feel it. I have a lot of things to say about Twitter that I'm not going to put into this stream. 
<laughs> I have uh, a lot to say too. Following, oh, sick God. Of following TOS. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so it's not gonna be violating TOS, but I, I don't yeah. want to take my chances. Um, yeah, no, that's fair. I do. So on that note, I do think I am gonna be migrating more to Blue Sky. Uh, I'll uh, still be. I'll still post sky? everything on Twitter. I do have a Blue Sky. Oh, you fucker! Send me an invite. <laughs> I haven't really used it. I've like set up profile and stuff, but I haven't posted on it yet. Um. <laughs> Look at this fucking bourgeois dragon. Feels what? too good for Tumblr. Uh, I have a Tumblr account. <laughs> Which I do post with updates uh, from my streams, by the by. Yeah, Doga? Oh. Well. Yeah, I'll be posting on both, though. And. I, I think Twitter. It must be a better means or service for, like, cross posting. I want. Like a bot. Yeah, right. You wonder. Also, Doga, if you want to post the art in the Discord, go right ahead. Um, you don't know what Blue Sky, Blue Sky is. is the Twitter alternative made by the guy who used to own Twitter. Uh, and yes. It's basically just Twitter, but it's been decentralized, which means that it's not got, um, it's not, it doesn't have servers that are run by Blue Sky. Well, it does, but you can also run servers independently and have basically your own private Blue Sky server. Yes. It's... it's also really afford to moderate anything except for the way that they moderate their main servers but like if you host on your own private server with only you and your buddies in it with a password you can share anything yeah it's effectively the not owned by elon musk twitter <laughs> um because it's owned by the guy who used oh, yeah, to Dogo. Twitter, and he's basically like, yeah, I get Fair. to do everything that I want to do, which I can't do because of the existing infrastructure of Twitter. So now we just have a new yep. company. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there isn't anything like uh, Twitter Blue or any membership stuff like that. There was a, there was a thing that, that Blue Set got a, a lot of flack for, which was the... Um, there's like uh, content moderation stuff that you can switch around for like how much you want to see certain things. And it's kind of a thing where it's like, oh yeah, do you want to see posts that may be uh, linked to accounts or associated with uh, certain extremist or terrorist groups? And it's like a slider between like, I don't want to see it. I kind of, I want to see some, I really want to see some. And again, that's because it's decentralized. Right. But uh, we're looking at it as like a like, how much racism do you want to be experience while you're using our app? Not that much, <laughs> a little bit, a lot of racism, you know. A lot of racism. <laughs> that 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 slider can only exist because of the technological limitations of this guy. Yeah. So it it, it it's definitely not just the same as Twitter. <sighs> but it is similar to Twitter. very similar. Yeah. I also want to say, if Twitter, if Elon actually does that subscription service where you have to pay, was it a dollar a month to the dollar a month just, to use all of normal Twitter? Yeah, just just even use Twitter. I think I will probably just fully migrate <laughs> to Blue Sky. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off Twitter and then I'm gonna start staring at Newgrounds. <laughs> now that would be an interesting place to post. <laughs> like, like, so, like, New Newgrounds has a feed. It has artists you can follow, new video formats, uh, art, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It has content ratings by itself, including uh, being able to post, uh, judge things, or look at posts uh, within certain time areas, or rating, or score, or or maturity rating. Or genre, uh, yeah. and has genuinely been ah. like a pretty good hub for creators as a whole. You can also post your status, which means that if you oh. want to do like your Here, "Here's my stream, it's happening right now, guys," you can do that. And if there's people who are on Newgrounds, do that. Same Andrew. Yeah, I, I didn't legitimately recommend the website. Yeah. Well, I think I. I genuinely 
wonder in the meantime, if Elon Musk is starting a fucking like a uh, a AI like text thing called. Oh Google. God, he's doing that too. Oh. Which, by the by, Twitter has already said that they're going to be using all of the data on Twitter to train an AI. Yeah. Which means that everybody's existing posts on Twitter is going directly into that. Which is... Yikes. <laughs> if you're ever doing anything creative with your art, or with your writing, or with your anything on Twitter, that is no AI fodder. Yep. That's in terms of service. That is another reason to leave Twitter. Yeah, a really good there one. Reason, again. Yeah. I just wish Newgrounds had like an app. Oh yeah, they don't. It's just a browser, isn't it? Pretty much just a browser. Yeah. Well. But but to be fair, the only reason why Newgrounds doesn't have a lot of things is because Newgrounds doesn't make a lot of money. So people don't. True. Yeah. No. We should go to Newgrounds. <laughs> I wonder if they are gonna add laws against AI. Or some regulations um, to it. There's certain it's... amounts of regulation that are already happening in place, but unfortunately, a lot of the lobbyists in place are there for the for the AI companies. However, oh. uh, for the purposes of legal precedents, uh, judges seem to have pretty good sense when it comes to ruling for the artists over the big companies. How oh, good? When it comes to this. Alternatively, uh, in, if things start really going bad, just start generating a fuck ton of fucking bootleg Disney. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get them a uh, copyright strike. <laughs> you prefer there being no one app that everyone uses? Keeps an app from I can... Well, again, Newgrounds, yeah. Twitter, Blue Sky. I think, yeah. Mastodon. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah, Mastodon! I totally forgot about Mastodon. Like, I... I, there is, there, it's not like there's a short list of places to go. It's just yeah. what things allow, what things are capable of, and Tumblr's been yeah. getting better over time, to the point where like they think you did think more Mori. accepting of certain art, but they've not been able to get rid of their moderator bot because they're not allowed to because of the fucking Apple Store. Which if Tumblr yeah. decided to no longer be on the Apple app, uh, on the App Store, they could get porn back. Oh, right, yeah, the App Store did that. And the entire reason why they couldn't is because uh, they were facing more stringent fucking regulation than Twitter was for the App Store because they had one reviewer who kept saying, I keep finding porn on Tumblr! <laughs> it's a porn uh, app! It's like a... I don't think I've used Itaku. And that's also the problem is that if there's, like, if there's one place it's a problem, if there's 15 places, it's a problem. You want to have, like, a good three or four. Yeah. So you can post to each one, and they each have different followings. You can go to each also, one. Also, if you want artists to follow Pixiv, which has, like, GIF support video... Uh, I don't think it has video support, but it has image support. Uh, but that's just, like, pure art. art. Pure art art. There's, yeah. Very much, hey, post your art. DeviantArt style. DeviantArt also no. has people bailing out of it because DeviantArt has opened their fucking shit to AI immediately to where oh. that you, post, you have to click a box to opt out of being used in AI. God, yeah, I remember that. I can't... Which should... oh. Why is it opt out, not opt in? I don't know. Because they want to get as many people as possible, I guess. Because they want to sell to AI artists. And if you have your yeah. fucking, like... If you have your portfolio from like five years ago on DeviantArt that you've not logged into for forever and it's still on there, automatically gonna be fed directly to the AI machines. Yeah. See you, Rai. Have a good night, Rai. Sleep well. Thanks for popping in. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Um. This is an entire process that Corey Doctorow, who is a much more qualified person to talk about internet matters than I am, has described using the word in shitification. Which is the intentional means Ooh. by which a website or web service gets worse over time because people can't leave. They start up their company at a massive loss providing services that nobody else can or knows how to, to the point where they outcompete all competitors, and then when they're the only option there and things are at cost, they make their service worse and worse and worse until they can start making a, prod a, a profit 
with a captive user base of people who are stuck there already because of their Ooh. existing oh, that, obligations to it. That totally so, happens. So Twitter well. is that for artists? It's getting worse and worse and worse over time. Yep. But artists can't leave because it's their only. For a lot of them, that's their primary means of getting commissions. Yeah. And like that's where their following is. It's brutal and. I, I wonder if that would have happened without Elon, or if he's just the genesis of it. Or not, um, not the genesis, but of Twitter falling apart. So, Twitter going south is absolutely, like, Elon's massive thing. But it's yeah. good. the good part of it is that the CEO and the guy who initially built Twitter was able to use all of the crazy funding that he got from Elon buying Twitter to basically immediately build Twitter, too. Yeah, true. <laughs> Which uh, is currently on an invitational scale, which means that people who people like are the people who get in. You know, uh, if you're yeah. gonna see fucking like fourteen, what was it fourteen eighty eight neo Nazi fetishist fucking woman enslaver on Ooh. this guy, I don't think you are. I don't think that guy talks to anybody who likes them. Yeah, and if they do get yeah. an invite, then what the fuck? Then. If they, if they do get an invite, you can kick them off of your server specifically. True. Yeah. Like, the, the, there Doesn't are so either. many new mm. means of regulation and moderation that, like, having it be decentralized allows for. Yeah. But that also means that all the Nazis are, on, are in one place, too. You just ignore that. <laughs> But yeah. I do, I do agree, Dogu. But somebody um, should be paying attention. I think. That, yeah. Don't let them simmer too long. Don't let them cook. Don't let them. Don't let them conspire. Uh. Uh. I think. I think change in general is hard to deal with, even if that change so, isn't that much. Like going from Twitter to Blue Sky. Blue Sky right now is a lot smaller than Twitter, and it's so, different uh, enough that it's harder to, you know acclimate but so doku when it comes to people like being unwilling yeah. to stop or switch that is the point they twitter was able to outcompete a bunch of other services that had come out around the same time as twitter we're talking the use of other social media websites such as myspace and facebook when it comes to like the when the era that twitter was coming out to compete with and they had enough money to run at a loss for an extremely long period of time so that they could get a captive user base with more features yeah. and more hosting and image hosting and everything with very specific limitations to things that would allow them to efficiently use their infrastructure at cost while also providing all the features everybody wants right and which I... means that the people who are on twitter are relying on the services specifically to twitter so then when Elon oh. Musk comes in and starts in shittifying the place because he has no idea how twitter works in the first place which was primarily off of its ad deals and its content regulation, which was moderated for truth, which is why you also have that, like the community notes as a feature that continually exists on Twitter. Um, <laughs> which is sometimes hilarious. Sometimes hilarious, but it's but. also the sort of thing where Twitter was a website for a while that also had like a certain level of like in-person moderation and technological measurement of like truth and sensationalism. Like, Twitter was really good at this shit to the point where they were communicating with the FTC, right? Oh. Um. Mm. But, uh. Musk has no idea how any of those deals work and had no idea how the advertising works and immediately started promoting a bunch of idiots because Elon Musk is a fucking dumbass who thinks he's a genius on the internet. Yep. Um. And, and people, as a result, uh, all of the advertisers le left and there was a descri description which was that, like, uh, the current CEO of Twitter basically said, yeah, no, we uh, we have had a good amount of money come in actually from some returning advertisers. Uh, we got Pepsi back in. Pepsi's oh. previous deal for advertising on Twitter was worth $77,000, right? Oh, I think the know what the new money that they put into buy space on Twitter was. I'm gonna guess. $12. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, that sounds like you like, want. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter's like advertising is basically all like AliExpressWish.com type like shops that are advertising there, the cheap ones. 
Uh, he's tried to directly monetize the verified service, which verified was actually a comparatively important thing for how Twitter worked. And he it also was, decided yeah. to change the, the names and branding of like some of the most effective branding of retweets, of the icon being a bird, of the site being called Twitter. The home icon right? on the app, I don't think Musk recognized it yet. It's a birdhouse! He... But no, no he wouldn't recognize reposting. that. Which also, by the way, fucking fucks with artists who are saying, don't repost my shit, because reposting art means that you've copy-pasted it and put it into a new post so that that gets the traction instead. That's what reposting is. Retweeting was the thing that they wanted you to do, but now there is no retweeting, there is only reposting. Which sucks, because the thing with the th that people called reposting is still bad, but still called reposting, but we need to call it something different now because the thing that people want you to do is reposting. Right. Ugh. Like, he wants this everything app, he wants it to move, like, one in three of every dollar on- He wants- he wants his shit to be the fucking- oh, Yeah, and he- okay. Uh, and he stole the X that his ex called it. <laughs> so let me- I, like, I, I can run this back for everybody here because I followed this shit. Not only is X a dumb name for a company, he's been trying to make X a company for over a decade now. We're talking, like, 11 years. He, oh, uh, ever since he stopped being on the board for PayPal, because the guys at PayPal kicked him out of PayPal. Yeah. Because he decided he wanted to make PayPal into X as a service, because he really likes this X shit. And X has been showing up in every single company that Elon Musk runs. We're talking the yep. Tesla Model X, we're talking SpaceX, we're talking... right? Yeah. Uh, we end... Elon Musk wants to turn Twitter into a banking service to compete with his old banking service, fucking PayPal. And it wants to be, and he's basically doing this kind of thing as a grudge against the people who were on the board for PayPal that kicked him out the first time when he wanted to make the fucking website into X. <laughs> he's obsessed with this X thing to the point where he named one of his kids X. Oh, right. Which, by the way, uh, shoutouts to Techno Mechanicus, also known as Tau, the most recent Elon Musk child. Oh my god. Um, I feel so bad for his so children. <laughs> that so not only did they do have to grow up with that name, but they have to grow up with him as a dad. Like, no, the really unfortunate thing that I'm aware of here is that Elon Musk has the power, money, and influence to where he's fallen down several holes that I almost fell down as being another individual person with Asperger's. Because Elon Musk has my brand of autism. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which means that I know where he's walking and why he's thinking the things he's doing and that kind of thing because <laughs> i was almost there myself i just got reality checked in the chest hard enough by people who knew better socially to turn into a well-balanced individual elon musk is the richest man on the planet who the fuck is going to reality check this man socially everyone's yeah. trying to follow his shit yeah. I think people are starting to realize, like, well, with all of his Twitter business, that he is nowhere near the the genius that he's claimed, or and, and, however self-made he appears to be, but still the richest man on earth. He doesn't really like do much. I'm not gonna compare you or me to Elon Musk in terms of him being a fucking dumbass. But the tendencies that he has to the way that he thinks and the patterns of thought that he has and the fucking social issues that he's incapable of comprehending, including his one trans kid. I know where he's coming from. Because I wasn't at the same place. But I've looked in that direction. You've you've seen what's over there. I I I I know, I, I, know <laughs> I know where that is. I know I know where that is. It's just Elon Musk on like Twitter and doing all that stuff. 
He's 2016 Tumblr me. Oh. And I hate that that's the richest man on the planet. It's... See, the worst part... Well, not the worst part, but I remember looking at him and not, not necessarily being inspired, but it felt kind of nice seeing someone with all this money and power, like, doing these interesting things. And not, I mean, at some point, Tesla, I would say it was environmentally good. Or the idea, it does. I, and SpaceX. I, like a company, I just that. hate that Elon Musk is running it. Because yeah. like, one of the one of my favorite things that Tesla does is there's cars that provide in-car Wi-Fi, right? Tesla, while parked, provides in-car steam. Oh, wait a minute. The firmware and computational power that a Tesla has is compatible with Steam such that you can launch and play video games in the car, from the car, with the oh, car. Oh my god. Which I think is really fucking cool, because what that is intended for is that when you're like parked somewhere and just charging your car at like one of the electric stations, nothing to do but wait for like an hour or two to play a game games. Yeah. which that it, it is silly True, Dogu. you're not wrong but if we're dealing with a thing which is mostly just a battery and a motor and all of the <laughs> computational power to even attempt to be a self-driving you can then why not have it also be a really good computer Victory! Welcome in, Lily. Hey! Lily, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, we're, we're done with the art showcase, but uh, in the struggle for waffles, we got destroyed the planet 2012 here. I'm here! Uh, we're talking about Elon Musk. And Twitter and, and social media and, and what it's like to try and promote yourself as a streamer. And we've yeah. gotten all the way down to talking about how we dislike Tesla. But yeah, I, I think yeah. that electric cars could definitely do well with having like more computer features than, Might as well. than necessarily car features. How was your stream, Lily? How'd it go? I think you, I, oh, wait, I'm not sure what you're doing, but I think it was Armored Core, right? Just shout out. Still, oh wait. <laughs> uh, so. Yep. Nice. Also, hell yeah, I got there. And your Tesla. <laughs> got a copyright strike. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, JD. <laughs> what just happened? Let's there? fucking go. Copyright strikes. Got a copyright strike? Fan. <laughs> what happened? Well, uh, oh, well. I'm all gone there. <laughs> I hope. Can you appeal it? Can you do anything about that? Because, uh, that's not great. Listen to hip hop. Listen to hip hop. Yeah. Ah. Uh, if it was a Spotify playlist, it might have wandered. Then you'd want to have that set up for like, for for you want to separate the live and bot track. Oh well, okay then. Never mind then. Really, whatever. Okay. I mean, uh, there's a. I mean, there's your vod being muted versus copyright strike. Your vod being muted yeah, is I mean, fine. That doesn't really if do it's much. Distributed, but... it's probably still somewhere in the copyright systems. You yeah. Can never be, you can never trust you music hop. unless a person explicitly said that it's okay. Which is yes. also why I started making a list of places and posts where people are in companies have explicitly said that it's okay to the use of music on stream. Because there's a billion and a half, and I mean to say 1.6 thousand lo-fi hip-hop songs that I have on a playlist on Spotify that are completely safe for use on stream. And I don't want to yep. listen to more hip lo-fi. <laughs> I'm just so. I'm just, just coming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine, Lily. That's fine. 
Yeah. That doesn't that doesn't mean you're uh, gonna get a strike against you or anything. It just means that part of the uh, vod is gonna be muted. I am continuing to hold back on just talking about this fucking audio clip that I want, but I want it. <laughs> six thousand dollars worth. I I want six thousand dollars worth of kit. At the very least, I want this one two thousand dollar bit. Also, I'm gonna send you a link, just so yeah. that you can look at the thing I'm looking at. Also, Lily, if you have to do anything after stream, go right ahead. Uh. No, Lily, if you have to do anything after stream, you actually aren't allowed to do that. Strap yourself mm. to your chair. Mm, peel your eyes open. Watch closely. Mm -hmm. Ludovico technique. You will be obedient. Anyways. You will be. Well. Uh, go chill. Do whatever. Yeah. Get some water. Get some rest. Do what you need to do. I uh, set so waffles the link to the synthesizer that I want. But it's kind of oh. unfair to call it a synthesizer because it's a lot, a lot of things. Wait, it's an R all in one battery powered synthesizer, sampler, and drum machine. Built in speaker microphone. Oh. Damn. This thing. Oh, is God. Like it's it, it is so versatile. It's like the fucking iPhone of audio equipment. Yeah. So it has it, so it has a, it has a sampler built in oh and a radio, right? Why is there a cow? Oh yeah, that's so the cow is a cow filter. <laughs> uh, it's just a ah. weird synthesizer that they put in. It's one of many that they have there. Oh my. god. God, the cow's a really popular one. Holy shit! I'm looking at the list of features. Yeah. So, uh, so it mentions that it has an FM radio and also as a sampler, right? Yeah. Um, that's not two separate things. Every oh. individual audio feature can plug into each other in this thing, which means that you can listen to the FM radio and go, "Oh, I know this song," and then hit the sampler and record a sample of radio oh. for use in music in 20 second clips and then edit it down put eq on it and then separate that up to four track and then fucking eq mix that damn okay Th yeah this, this thing is... is holy nuts um and that's like one of like three or four things that i want off of from this company but this okay. thing is also tiny it, it like uh, oh. <laughs> it's hard to get a sense of scale from the actual like website so let me see if i can find a picture of someone like holding the op that's oh my god look at through the rest of their stuff got field bottle a 29 dollar water bottle yeah the the brand is kind of premium. The The synthesizer in itself is as small as in the picture that I sent you, and it's $2,000. It is... It has a... That's less than a keyboard. It's like... It, it... Yeah. It's a really small, like... It's really small for a MIDI controller, but the versatility of it and all the functions that are in it. You're also Probably buying an FM radio, you know? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Staring at the other things that I'm staring at, um, let me see if I can grab, yeah, here we go, this guy. This thing is not a tape machine, or not a tape recorder, but it's doing everything it can to haptically feel like a tape recorder. Oh. Um, among the many features include that if you take a recording minute, uh, and you play it back with the play button, uh, First off, every single time it's recording or playing or anything, that central wheel is spinning. Which nice. you can also use to to like actually select between things a la like an old iPod. Oh iPods. Oh but, um, god. You. When that but when it's playing back a recording, you could put your hand on the fucking spinning wheel to stop the spin. It stops the recording. 
or you can slowly move it really? and turn it yourself and it'll fucking play at whatever speed you're turning it at like an actual tape record that's <laughs> that's also, sick. the the device itself has a button on it called a memo button uh which is which skips even if the thing is off it'll skip turning it on you hit the memo button it starts recording nice it just turns on and starts recording instantaneously the entire time that's recording the, the reel is also spinning but you can but if there's something that needs to be said without getting on the record you fucking put your hand on it stop the fucking recording say whatever you need to and then put take your hand off it it'll start spinning again and when you're listening to a recording with it uh if you hit the play button again while it's playing tape starts going the other direction you're listening to it in reverse nice <laughs> Like, uh, there are so many just cool little, like, haptic bits for this, where it's good as a tape recorder, but it's also good for audio, like, messing with it as hardware. Just the amount of things that are going on. Yeah, there's your TP7. Yeah. Which, uh, this thing... I don't think it's out yet. Oh, no, it is. Uh, there's one that isn't out yet. I forget which one it is. But, like, these things are tiny. Teenage engineer, Engineering, TP7. And That's, just, uh. like, in terms of, like, really cool audio equipment, again, these things are tiny. There's a picture of that, of it being small. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here's, here's the picture off the website of it being really small that you can put up. Well, that is tiny. Like, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this could fit right in in Starfield. Yes, people are. Yeah, yeah. It's very much got this kind of awesome retro futuristic feel too. Um, they're one of the many things that they're saying that it's useful for on the website is you can even use this thing as a DJ controller because of course you can because it's electronic, which means that the spinning disc for when something's playing from it. You can use that to scratch a record, fucking turntablism style. <laughs> ah, yes. That. Like, y you know I what I mean? It. Like, yeah. just... Oh, the way these guys make things is smart. It's, yeah, it's pretty small. <laughs> it's also got three 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, which you can all put in, which means that if you want to record like a, like a podcast, for example, you have three microphones set to input to it so that you're literally just have your microphones all go to this one little thing that is recording all three of them to talk to the record. Nice. It's got an internal speaker. It's got USB-C. It's, it's got cool. everything. Like, I don't know. I, I just really like this set of things that they've made. Uh, the TX6 field mixer is the last one I'm staring at, which is because they also have one which is just a really cool microphone that's got some cool features to it, but like a really cool microphone is still just a microphone. The <laughs> TX6 is the last one I'm staring at, which is the which is their field mixer, Ooh. and you can see in the picture how fucking small it is. Yeah. Um. This thing has like built-in effects. Uh, it's a six-channel stereo mixer, which means that it can feed. Uh, which means that it can feed audio to two outputs, left and right, and mix between them. Nice. Uh, Three-band EQ and just do all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, the first one that I sent you, the OP one, was has like been around for forever, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's like there's been uh, a version of the OP one that's been around for but the OP one field is like the new new one and it's even smaller and it's even more portable and it's even more robust and it's aluminum right it's just better uh, and so I've just been looking around at like different videos of people talking about the OP one and like why is it so expensive and why does it do this and then I remember that like there are so many different artists that I follow who have an OP1 who just make songs with it on the fly. I think I've seen it used on clips before. 
like I I don't remember who did it, but uh, I remember someone using a keyboard like this. However, I never I didn't look at it closely, so I don't know if it was actually that or not. But yeah, seems quite, no, Lily, quite bet, useful. I bet if like I bet you could probably apply to do a radio show but uh if not there's probably like at least like the local college that might have like a radio club that you could help out with true like college radio is always a really good place to start for broadcasts uh i wanted to be in the fucking college radio for the university that i'm at but there it's on a different campus oh oh <laughs> yeah i Never gone into that. I tried. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go to clubs as often as I should have in college. Yeah. And, I, and then with COVID, COVID, that did not help. I think. I, I think that. I think we both have good reasons why not. Um, yeah. To be honest. <laughs> like, I did with the way that COVID mm. turned out and everything. I got my fucking associate's degree without making a single friend at the college that I made, got my associate's degree at. Damn. Uh, I... Which was I made friends, but none of them were super long-lasting. Like, I, I would definitely say I had friends in college, but I don't really talk to them in, anymore. Which is kind of a shame, but COVID, COVID really did not help. I just kind of, I just kind of went through and basically, you know, did schoolwork, tried not to mess around too much. Like the only reason I went to parties is because my brother invited me. Fuck, I never got invited to parties. Oftentimes yeah. the parties were happening without my knowledge or permission in the dorm room that I was living in. Oh. At two in the morning before an exam. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I know people have said that college is the best time of your life. And I would say it depends <laughs> a lot. Because mm. I would definitely take college over high school. But I wouldn't say college was like where I've peaked. I really, really hope not. No, I don't think that I've peaked in college. Lily, oh my god. Uh, also, fucking holy shit, Lily, nice. Maybe social and do stuff, but you're not good at it. Yo, shout yeah. out to me like actually officially punching that fucking B card like last week. Oh yeah, up. yeah! Congratulations again. <laughs> it's yeah. I think college for me. Funny enough, I I just tried to stay away, and then people kept trying to drag me in. Kind of. I had the opposite. I kept trying to reach out more, and people were like, "Uh, eh, no." It's at least my brother is trying to drag me out. Because he knew I was more introverted, and he was... He... If you could describe me as... Introverted and kind of, you know, easygoing... He was also easygoing. But oh, if you look at that, my Discord reactor broke. Is ve Oh, what the fuck? But yeah, my brother, my brother is like... Not definitely not the polar opposite of me, but absolutely way, way more uh, extroverted than I am. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm more or less extroverted than I was before. I think I'm more extroverted, but I also had like at least three or four years stuck inside yeah. because of covid and parents and all of that kind of thing to use an excuse as Lily? an excuse and motivator to get me the fuck out more yeah did discord 
reactor just break? Not just. It's been broken for a bit. Well, no, I refresh and now you're just gone. Oh. Victory. Oh, wait, no, that's not a victory. <laughs> hey, Shinzo, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. I have the struggle for waffles. I've got to destroy the planet here. Uh, well, they would be here, but Mostly. Discord Reactive has just decided to not work. Oh, wait, I don't even know what that is now. Huh. Application failed to respond. Yikes. Well, um, that's not good. <laughs> I guess, yeah, well, we'll keep you as an application right here. <laughs> just, uh huh. Uh. Hello, it is me. Hello, Sloop. To respond application. Ah, welcome in, Raiders. Uh, we we just finished going through an art showcase we had for Spooky Month. But just finished, we've just kind of been throwing around ideas for now. Uh, <laughs> but here I'll run you through. Hello, Sloop. The waffle is not doing too much. We we had a whole art showcase here. Yep, let's get those fucking now, uh, TP7s off the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which were very interesting technology that's out. Yeah, very useful I, right I, now I, with Zero. I've, I've, fall, I've oh. fallen in love with like multiple thousand dollar electronic audio equipment that I want super bad <laughs> and cannot afford. Shame. Money doesn't grow on trees with Zero. At least not cheers near me. Sucks. But anyways. Shinzo, how was your how was your stream? How'd it go? Can we get a Shanna for Shinzo? With syrup? Make sure it's with syrup. Yo, can uh, we if... get a Shanna for Shinzo? <laughs> Shanna the Shinzo. I say as a moderator who is in your chat right now. <laughs> uh Thanks, Lily. You're the best. Thanks. Vampire survivors. Ooh, how'd it go? I'm tired. With syrup. Wait, no. <laughs> Sloop, no. <laughs> why? Why? Are you... Either, either me or Fox needs to host. Whenever knock. Why? I mean, while Why? we're doing this, you might as well shout me out, true. Don't true. time sleep out for that. No. Lily, why? why? <laughs> oh, I didn't even do the... Wow. Lily, didn't even shout do that. me out. Okay, but actually, shout out Sloop 2. Sloop Tube? <gasps> oh. Technically, everyone has that power. Also, shout out to Draws. And shout out to Draw, who is making close. me do exercise. I'm getting close, chat. Yeah. Don't take that out of context, no, please. No, exercise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Nice clip, Sloop. Nice clip. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Like, Are you think close I'm now? Break ego up shout her, out? But we're not breaking up with her. Right? Oh, Jesus Christ! What are Christ. you looking at? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm darling. I totally was not looking at the page that says we're gonna break up. Oh, Jesus Christ! That scared the shit out of me. Uh huh. I see draws with syrup. Thank you for the hydrated TV. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Let's the clip play out. Syrup. Woo! I'm good. Hey, TV, Terrifying how are you Terrifying in doing? a noble world. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Primarily on the... Listen, so I feel that. Nothing? Yes? Community is, is uh, the truth? Monsters. So the stream was chaotic. Couldn't conquer the mountain that you wanted to conquer. Wanted to name it Chaotic Mountain with Syrup. Uh, you know, fun fact. Already. I... I have not yet played Vampire Survivors. Not with Syrup, at least. Sure, draws. Sure. I'm gonna go do push-ups. Uh, I guess... There's a, uh, let's see, who else is here that deserves to get a shout-out? Uh... Wait, 
Yogu, you said you streamed, right? Yogu, you, you, do you stream with Zero? Are you? Yeah, it's me time. You do. Oh, well, shout out for Dogu with Zero. Gotta be. Oh, yeah, System Shock. I gotta play more of that. I... Oh, wow. This is... I did not realize that the... The puzzle is so similar to Bioshock 2 with Zero. So, Waffles, the Bioshock series is a spiritual success of the success of Shock series. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I didn't realize uh, it was that similar with the, just the, the puzzle. The game intentionally uh, similar with Zero. Dogu. You gonna get a shout out for Dogu with Zero? And go do some push-ups and squats. Yeah, let's go be nice to Dogu with Zero. Oh. You Thank you for the 50 bitties, Shinzo. Syrup. I don't know why you would try syrup. and creep me, though. They have syrup. With syrup. With please, syrup. please don't. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Quick, somebody uh, else. Uh, no, Goo Daddy, please, no. Uh, no. Uh, Goo Daddy. Very, very, please. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? Mm. Yeah, Dogu. I, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ever shouting you out again, Dogu. Uh, <laughs> get some different clips. Uh, <laughs> Welcome in, Kai. I guess that means you should stream more. Be seeing you, Shinzo. Uh, Have a nice lurk. Uh, yeah, no worries, Shinzo. Thank you again for the stream. Uh, not for the stream, for the raid. And for streaming. Appreciate it. God, Go get some rest. I should get some more clips that aren't like System Shock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, One. My... Two. Oh, this three, is a long clip. Four. <laughs> Hello, Kai. Five. We're going to be far. <laughs> six. Seven. I, uh, I hope you got some eight. good sleep. Nine, ten. Where? Oh my! Wow! You can't. Eh, eh. <laughs> Is that five bullets? Yeah, you, know, you figure yeah, the amount of bullets. weird sus oh. shit that I say on a semi-regular oh. basis that I have more clips. But you hate me. People just don't watch my streams. I'm on my way to punch you. And even with the amount of stuff oh. I say, I don't get that many clips. Wait, I'm not even there, and you're hitting me. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't even right there. This fucking finale of Seven yeah. Days to Die. If you want, Sir, if you want members uh, to be more embarrassed via these fucking shadows. I did it. I clipped them. Like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I got a clip Victory. of me just fucking around with the thing. Uh, Wait, what's I, in the background, too? Uh, I got. I got. Um, shout out on Sloop's channel. And the clip. Was me saying, Oh, so you were black, huh? Or something like that. It's just like extremely sus out of context. That sounds like something I would clip. Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure it was your clip. Awesome. It was, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a few of those. Things, we have Waffles the Racist Dragon. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure Spirit Fair had some of my most. Just stuff. Racist moments ever. Well, okay, to be fair, it was just beating up red pandas. That's not racist. Yeah, you kept sending all the minorities to hell. I thought it was weird, but you were saying it was... Oh, yeah, party. we did do that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Oh, Kai, 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 Kai. Hold on. Before you Kai. fall asleep... Before you fall, fall asleep... asleep. Fuck up. You can fall asleep if you want. But... One, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. I love this aesthetic. That's cool as shit. Two. Do you think you're going to keep working on it? Because I would love to see the full thing. Also, just more of your work in general. 
I also would want to see more of your work in general, Kai. Probably. I know you. I know you said you were coloring it, so I I, I really want to see all of it because I think this is fantastic. Waffle song, dude. I know. I know. I was gonna go do push-ups, but we kept shouting out people, and I had to watch the clips. Do push-ups after. I'm, I'm getting it. That way we have enough time to for the fucking timer to count over so that we can give you more push-ups. My god. How many oh yeah, Kai? Okay. I'm not gonna say. Oh, that's a shame. I was gonna do them with you. <laughs> it's not, uh... Not too... Maybe, though. Mm. Not too many is too few. Huh. Wait, Kai, how is your model going then? One, two, three, four. Five. All right. Five. Don't. <laughs> Come on, that's not nearly enough. You know this is true. Mm -hmm. That's that's okay. What we can work out after you stream. Think, chat. You want more push-ups? I want more push-ups. Dogu. I agree. Stink. Oh. Uh, well. I, I agree, Dogu. Uh, I think redeems and commands are fantastic. Uh-oh, Lily. <laughs> Lily. She's pants and hair. Well, that's something. It's a... Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't hit that button. Yeah. There isn't a way for me to not include you guys, as far as I know. But also, yeah. I kind of find it funny whenever it does happen, so. Yeah. But yeah, uh, redeems and commands are... Anyone's trying to get into streaming, and well, I guess if you're trying to get into streaming, you don't have redeems yet, but commands are another good way to get that kind of, uh, you know, integration. People get to uh, participate in stream. They have an energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, draws. I don't think Fuji is working. I think it's like actually broken. It's it's very good to have stuff that people can do on stream other than just watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is why it sucks that I don't have things that I can have people redeem things for because Ooh. I'm not yet affiliate. Yeah. Are you well, all you need to do is stream a couple more days, right? Uh I need four days now. Yeah. Redeems aren't so bad, you still can't wrap your hand around commands yet. So, Flare, one, there's a couple programs that are super useful uh, for integrations into your stream stuff. And that's the ones I'm using. There are definitely other ones out there. The ones I'm using are Mix It Up and Sammy. And Mix It Up lets you create custom commands and group them along with redeems and stuff. Sammy basically lets you do even more stuff. Mix it up is like very organized and clumped into groups, but Sammy's a little more do here are the tools. They're not very organized though. Um Firebot. I mean, yeah, I mean if you can get stuff to have people you know interact with stream, it's it's good. Kai. <laughs> um, 
Roz. Yeah, so mix it up. Mix it up is pretty common. Sammy. So there is Sammy. If you want to get even more involved, like into the coding side of stuff, you can also get streamer streamer.bot, I think. And that is full on. You can code whatever you want and have it interact with stream that way you have to code <laughs> there there isn't other like visual coding processes like with sammy or mix it up where you can put two action blocks together i'm pretty sure with streamer dot bot you have to write the code yourself there's a, there's a lot of these which basically just suck yeah the reason why i use sammy and mix it up i'm using sammy more because feels like Sammy gives you those tools to do almost whatever you want. There's some limitations, uh, of course. Immediately on a but, song request. Yeah. I don't think uh, there was another in between. Ah, uh, well. This is a track off of the Pro nice, Discovery Ollie. album <laughs> uh, made by Pluffaduff which is a album which was basically just a bunch of people who were like conventionally like matchup people or remix people mm. completely redoing the discovery album uh by daft punk <laughs> including using samples from all the original songs that daft punk sampled same flair i i want to get more into coding cuz it's a very useful skill to have nowadays I have not. I've taken two years, two two classes of Python. That's about it. I uh, I've taken oh, God, no. coding, including one game design summer camp when I was like way younger. Don't remember too much though. Lost a fall. I think it was. Song. I want to say it was more than that, but. Actually, I actually lose followers more than you might think. Well, no, okay, not that often. But you, you would definitely see the number go up and down. Mm -hmm. Fair amount. And I want to say they're bots, but who knows? Who knows? There, well, there These are numbers. just a good amount of bots around anyways. I know that I already yeah. have at least a bot following. I'll start because of this song. I, Hello. yeah, I don't, <laughs> I did not like seeing that, I'll be honest. That's, that's not yeah. good, Lily. Took one class for robotics that, you know, actually, I took a class for robotics once. Well, no, 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 wait, no, no, I didn't take a class for robotics. It was a mix of things. It was 3D modeling along with robotics, like in one class. It was in middle school, so it was very basic. <laughs> cool, though. SolidWorks is a cool program. Huh. Yeah, Lily? Oh, the fuck's your act is still broken. Yeah, I, I think Fuji might just be broken. Well, there's Sometimes. also new op options, so I think I might have updated. Yeah, this is definitely like updated. Hmm. Wait, so you actually went to... Wow, okay, Lily. All right. Did you win? Uh, do you use the group uh, source or just or an individual source for me? Uh, I was using the individual source, but... There you go. All right, here's... Here's a new and link. Why did it? Well, it just asked me to authorize it, actually. Oh, well, funny. there we go. No. Oh, just now. Weird. You actually oh, built the robots. Am I fading to transparent? Ooh. <laughs> okay, it's definitely kind of broken, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, Here, I'll. I'll been using the new link that I sent you. <laughs> it might just be necessary for that. Hmm. Because I think Fuki got updated, and that fucked up the old link. Oh. 
I think it's even more. Wait. Yeah, refresh. Huh? <laughs> you got it. Wait a minute. Say something? Howdy. But now it's just not showing anything. All right. Fantastic. Big fan of things being totally <laughs> fucked. Love it. Do that again, just in case, but... No, I... <laughs> oh, wait! You back? Oh, what's up? Yay! We still looking good. You're back. Yeah. Oh, and it works, and it's the way that oh, I want really. it to be set up to work. Tech difficulties. Yay. When in doubt, oh. scuff. Oh, it's how VTubers roll. We just fuck shit up, and that's about it. Back he's fuck, Kai. He he is fuck. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I might actually uh end it somewhat soon. Yeah, that makes sense. We've got very much nothing going on right now. Yeah, and I'm thinking, so. So this week, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I've still got Baldur's Gate, I think, unless we've fully, still fully done with that. Thing with Mookie and them. Yeah, still got Valheim on Thursday. I, I, ooh, I think once we hit 666 followers, I will do another R stream. And draw some of the people who posted under their Twitter or the, under the tweet. Since Ooh. since we didn't actually hit the goal, but I don't want to have them go totally empty-handed. Um, Fair enough. But I don't really. I kind. I'm gonna take this week easy. So other than those two yeah. collab streams, I might just do like one more more vibe stream have a good night bridge sleep well you just get to chill yeah i Let's see got a few oh, there's a, quite a few people streaming right now actually mm -hmm. oh no yeah uh there, yeah there's a lot we could write Fred. I kind of read someone new. I don't know. Hmm. Kai. What's wrong with Kai. everybody else? Could always raid out to Volus. Dogu, I have you know, I have done uh chill art streams in the past, but they're all they're almost more chaotic than streams where I'm playing something. Which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> we always uh it usually turns cursed. <laughs> we start playing weird music, and then I draw cursed stuff. At least last time. Me art. No. <laughs> oh no, Kai. Yeah, Vol is live. Spout. So funny thing. Spout hit partner today. Like they oh, just got sick. accepted. Uh. I know it's pretty chaotic. So partner's fucking hard. You gotta have seventy-five it's, viewers. Average. Yeah, no, he. It's crazy. I think. Oh god, it hurts me because he started after I did, and he's already partner. Well, well but to be fair, you don't have near the crazy fucking shit Spout's got going on. Yeah, I don't have a three D model, which. Definitely. You know the 3D model, which is gonna fucking ragdoll the second we raid in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, th I think Spout has attracted people very much in a similar sort of way that, like, you know those videos which also have, like, fucking the Subway Runner game, like, on Hi, the one please. side and the stimming video on the other side? <laughs> just, just 100% it's... ADHD trap? Yeah. His, his energy is pretty crazy. It does... It can be overwhelming. I think 
What Spout streams have given me a headache multiple times. I think what I appreciate about Spout streams <laughs> is that it can be super chaotic, but when he gets into the game more, uh, there there's yeah. more of it. There there's a lot calmer vibe. Why is, because it's not spooky month anymore, Kai. You had, which is the fucking Gianni Matrigano, oh hey babe, on exclamation point, shit yourself. <laughs> God. And I was just, the last time we ran it out to him, uh, uh, fucking everyone in chat just started fucking spamming that. And true, Dogo. Loud Ow. and hilarious. And if it Cut. were up to me, you would have like maybe like a 10k point donation, which would just play the entire Johnny Matragano Fallen Aces shitting audio for like five uh, minutes. Why? Why are you bunking me? I, you know what I find really funny is if someone spends like 10k bits, there's like nothing up until 10k, and then the moment you hit 10k, it plays like an entire episode of like a TV show. And you immediately get copyright struck. Oh god. <laughs> so we could just pay to get you struck down. Uh, a million point redeem, get the channel banned. Get the channel banned. Oh god. Or you have like a 2.5 million point redeem and it's just like show dick on stream. Oh god. It's like, alright. Uh well, I if you've been here for this long. I have had a couple crazy ideas because People have mentioned higher point redeems, and Wait, I thought... hold on. Segwaying from what I just said to, I have had some crazier ideas, and I'm like, what? None of them are like that. Oh my god. Okay. No, 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 no. My my ideas were, like, Calm 100k down, points. Buddy. Calm down. End the stream. Mm. Like, just, just end the down. stream. Or have, like, five minutes until it ends. You have to do whatever you can before it does. And or uh, having it so when you redeem it, it just immediately starts ads. <laughs> it just plays an ad when you redeem it. <laughs> Which, I mean, it is the people's choice if they do it, right? So I I can't be blamed for that. Um, you just put it in the fucking NSFW. Okay, yeah. Store. Yeah, I mean, there is... A, I could send a Discord message. Like, that's one of the options with Sammy. Or mix it up, I think. It's just... There are a couple of streamers that we've raided into or been raided into by who have NSFW, like, chats in their Discords that have nudes. Not of the streamer, but of just the people in the community. And I went, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Would I participate? <laughs> oh. And... The, and the answer wasn't no, but it is not now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'd participate. Also, Dogu? Yeah, no. If someone redeems it, the whole chat has to see it. Not the dick, the, the ad. <laughs> Kai. Kai. You're... Yeah, they were. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, I hope so. No, not Gunther. For like the no. Selfie, not for like the selfie nudes, it's just like a general NSFW channel. Yeah. I If and when I add it, um, it'll probably be like that. I think it'll just be lewd. And then you can have art or pictures. I enjoy the idea of like on the overlay that I stream with, I have like the you know, like the newscaster, like scr like scrolling, like or like hot, like sideways scrolling text bits. Yeah, and it's just you can have redeems to just add like a news event that happens or whatever. <laughs> you know, I still I still have that actually right here. And then for like for and then for like I don't know for fifty k breaking news report on given subject, and I have to make up an entire fucking story. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Uh, so Dogu, actually, fun thing about Discord and stuff like that is you can have the channel specifically be 18+. Plus. 
and that 18 plus bit of the channel is based on whether or not Discord recognizes that your account says that you are over 18 or not, because you're not allowed to have a Discord ch account below the age of 13, and you're not allowed to have access to 18 plus channels below the age of 18. Yep. So if you're below 18, according to your age in Discord, then you cannot access those channels outright. And if you want to gain access to that, you have to send a picture of yourself with your fucking like like uh with your like driver's license showing that the age uh, that your age is over 18 on your driver's license basically to verify it from the fucking like uh with discord staff specifically not anybody who's like actually in the server themselves so yeah. there's really not a good reason for a server to have to handle like easy plus verification by themselves the only point by which we would get in trouble if it were us which is a conversation Hi. that Waffles of I have had now four times, uh, is uh, what is if we know somebody is underage who might have access to those channels, at which point we would need to be an admin. But it yes. is specifically in the knowing and still in, uh, it is in the knowing and then in action, which we would get in trouble for. And I don't yeah. think we would be in action. We would not be in action. Yeah, we would, we would take action on it if... If we uh, saw that kind of stuff. Yep. Wait. I moved it waffle. Okay. okay. There you go. But yes. Yeah, so Discord has an, in, an inbuilt uh, maturity feature. Can you say hi and join? Well, get there. <laughs> We're actually gonna rate out pretty shortly because uh, this was not planned to be a long stream. It was just really the art showcase. Uh, We're mostly just hanging out. Yeah, no, Doga. It would still be an opt-in feature, but you have to be actually eighteen plus now. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I remember... Yeah, motorway. We'll let this play more before we get into this. I'm not gonna fight you, Kai. But we're talking about moderating in the Discord. Are you a Discord mod? She is, actually. Oh, fair enough. No, yeah, just... Doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, to be fair, Discord hasn't had a whole lot of moderation stuff. Gunther, I'm not going to send you the same as Sir's Wrath gifts. You've already seen them. Uh, this is okay. how it goes. I do need to decide who to rate, though. Again, Volus is doing stuff. Yeah. And Spout does have their partner stream, but I know it's chaotic, so I don't know. Not everyone wants to. Uh, hey, can you run a poll with your chat? I know that that's a tool that you get as an affiliate. <laughs> oh, wait, is it only with affiliate? Oh, well. It's a thing that I thought that I would want to do as a result of the thing that I would want to decide for a plan Amazing. that I had for a stream that I was going to do, which I was then unable to do as a result of not having affiliate because Twitch... All right limits fucking tools to people which is also why yeah. i don't have access to points as much as i want to make my streams more fun for people to be able to hey. watch okay <laughs> hello glory welcome in we're uh kind of not fighting we'd better not be oh no, i'm just annoyed at twitch um okay there is someone else i haven't really rated before Hi, Who what about has... fighting in the sheets? Oh, you know I'd win. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I only have one more option. Okay. Who who else? Who have I? Mm, there, yeah, there's a lot of people online right now. Yeah. But you'd okay. be in for a good time, guy. Anyways. 
Uh, yeah. Dreams are nice. Always down for some fun. We're always fighting Twitch glory. We are always Twitch, fighting Twitch. When are we Twitch fighting deserves. Twitch? Actually, okay, well, well, on their last there, decision, we're also fighting. We're also oh. fighting Sammy and mix it up like a lot. True, they do like breaking. I like how they uh, banned karaoke and have started to lock down on their music's like stuff, and then also shut down their fucking soundtrack thing for specifically locating and sourcing playlists of uh, stream safe audio. Yeah. <laughs> But they did, like, they did give the option to simulcast to YouTube or other sites, which is pretty big. The only, I find it hilarious that Twitch gave you the option to do that and then said, but you can't stream to another site at higher quality. No, it has to like, be as good as the quality that's on Twitch. That's just so funny to me. Uh, oh, have a good one, bananas. We're we're ending pretty shortly, worst, but a worse stream on Twitch. Do good, do good things. Like oh. I'm, I'm enjoying the idea of somebody like intentionally fucking up their audio or visual resolution. You know what? Actually, glory. I think of it. Would anybody even notice if somebody fucked up their audio resolution for Twitch to be technically lower quality? Like you have a I mean, 4.5k sample rate for uh, for YouTube, but you have like a 42k sample rate for, oh for Twitch. I wonder. Know? I don't know. I I think what I find really really funny is I can reduce my bitrate while I'm streaming, which. <laughs> Kind of makes sense, because then you can change it on the fly, so you don't just do that. But you can put it at absurdly low rates and just ruin the stream. <laughs> just as you're going, just fuck you guys. You don't, you don't get to see anything. I reduce my bitrate redeem. Um, hmm. That's a really I, good idea, yeah. Dogu. <laughs> uh, no, I'll... I wouldn't say a really mean, good idea, because I could actually legitimately fuck with the stream, considering that bitrate is the, like, rate at which the data is being sent. So... so reducing it, and then send, and then increasing it back up to where it was can cause, like, a weird amount of load on your system and network, which can fuck with the stream in different ways. Interesting. I also don't know if you could make it automatic or not. Like, bitrate is a, is a data thing. You'd yeah. Not fuck with your encoder. Have a good Thanks night, Gunther. Thanks for coming in. Sleep well. I see, like a means by which you can fuck with it and then set it to a thing, which is a standard as you go. But then, even then, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I do. <laughs> just the the idea of redeems that could actually fuck up your <laughs> not permanently fuck up your stream, but just kind of ruins the viewing fuck experience. The existing stream. Yeah. yeah. That's that's why I like the egg and uh, Goku one. Just because if you spam it enough, <laughs> you're not going to get anything else. <laughs> like, all you're going to see are going to be really, eggs at Goku. I still just enjoy the idea of you have a redeem which forces a fucking transition to a scene of your character behind, like, a news desk. And the gameplay is oh. still there, but it's in like a smaller window in the corner, like the kind of way that they would for new stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, all right, what is the fucking, you know, Here. oh, uh, news just in that. And they ha and you have to like look at the fucking like message that they wrote on stream <laughs> and try and figure out a way to deliver the story. I, ooh, no, no. Like I, the video game. Ooh, I do like that. That's the that's thing that I've had like on the mind for forever. So uh, if anybody gets that set up, I, I'd prefer it would be me first. It shouldn't actually be too hard because you could. I think what you could do is. I just want it to be like a just... transition. You just put like. Ah. You, you ha if I have uh, the the fun part about the. Uh, oh about yeah, the story. Which one? Being a mask is that you could basically have a mannequin with whatever clothing, and then put the mask on it and have the mask animate, so anything can be behind this PNG. And be oh, the yeah. character. Oh, yeah, that could work. So, so the hard cut to the newscaster desk is just a fucking suit behind the desk with no face, and this is me. You. <laughs> that sounds Anyways, we got this funny. breaking news story as, what the fuck did you just write? You know, like, just 
Like having to like you know, <laughs> read chat while also playing a video game and uh, get the story in your head. Uh, that's a good idea. Also, Glory, if you happen to look at the art theme for this month, you can make your own cheeks. You get to choose what my lower half looks like within Take TOS. Take my boy. I want to see Waffles looking like that one episode of Spongebob with fucking Squidward's hips being massive after he ate all the fucking, <laughs> uh, fucking... carby patties. Uh... Oh, I guess we're going to the spell. Um, yeah. I mean, it is their partner I... stream, so. Hey, by the way, can I advertise myself for half a second here because we're at the end, tail end of the screen, stream? Uh, sure. And yes, Kai, you can. With Don't make it against TOS, but you can do that. All right, plugging myself here. I am approaching uh, affiliate at a rather fast pace. Uh, I have everything done except for the amount of streams and the amount of days, which is just a time-related thing. But my name, uh, or at least my username, is... Destroy the Planet 2012, and I am your local dude for most things audio that you'd want to know for anything relating to streaming and most things relating to music. Uh, I play a lot of different kinds of video games and uh, in mostly just try and do really obscure stuff that 90% of which most people have never really heard of before. So yeah, uh, yeah. stop on my streams whenever. It's usually weekends nowadays, uh, occasionally Thursdays if I can make it work. Um, but yeah, uh, now, if you didn't so, get from this stream, Planet is very knowledgeable. So, yeah, usually, if there's a topic you know something about, uh, he can talk, talk about, about it for it. hours <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, I've got a fucking motor mouth. <laughs> uh, if you need someone to yes. fill air, I am that guy, but. <laughs> I hope you get that everybody here and all the people watching the stream had a good time. Yeah. Uh, this... Really happy for the amount of art that we had submitted this time around. Looking forward yeah. to the next month. I cannot wait to see whatever the fuck has come up with here. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Oh, God. It's not shouting me out because my name is too fucking long. <laughs> but it's okay. You can click my fucking. You can click the link yeah. to me on the, the uh, title of the stream. Yeah, Planet is in the title too. So, thank you for the headpats, Dogu. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for coming in. Really do appreciate y'all. I should be back tomorrow with some Baldur's Gate unless something happens. And if something happens, I'll let you know. Probably. Have a nice night. Have a good night, everyone. Sleep well. Get some water. Do what you need to do. Peace. Easy done.